achieved so you can fearlessly go after your dreams. For auto, home, business, and life, contact us today. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. American Family Insurance, Life Mutual, Standard of Ohio, Wisconsin Company, 6000 American Parkway, Madison, Wisconsin, 53783. Agrimax and West River Ag have been in the winter area for a combined total of nine years. We offer top-of-the-line services and inputs such as chemical, seed, fertilizer application, spraying, and agronomy services with a certified crop advisor on staff. We are a full-service business that is locally owned and operated. We look forward to continuing service to the ag community and cannot wait to help you with all your agricultural needs. Agrimax, shaping the future of ag. This is what matters. This is beyond X's and O's. This is the difference mutual respect makes. This is what character looks like. This is what defines us in South Dakota. This is sportsmanship. School sports, it's not the outcome that matters most, but the way the games are played. This message presented by the South Dakota High School Activities Association and the South Dakota Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. Producers, now's a great time to get your seed meters inspected so you're ready for spring planting. Right now, Grosselberg Implement, your John Deere dealer, with nine locations in South Dakota, Nebraska, and Wyoming, is offering $25 labor per row all month long. Contact one of Grosselberg Implement's service managers and schedule your planter seed meter inspection so it's ready for spring. Grosselberg Implement, where service is the other half of a great product. Go to Grosselberg.com for details. Producers, now's a great time to get you... Whether you're pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start so that the people may live. Calling all honey lovers. Dakota Honey in Winter offers some of the purest honey on the market. South Dakota's diverse wildflower population makes for very light colored sweet honey that comes straight from the hives to their bottles. Shop online at dakotahoneyco.com for pure local honey, flavored spun honey, beeswax candles, and more. Wholesale products are also available at Dakota Honey, and you can find their products on the shelves of various local spots in the area. Dakota Honey in Winter, it's the bee's knees. You've spent years dreaming up your business plan, saving every dollar, searching for the right location, and perfecting your product. Auto Owners insures your small business, because it isn't small to you. Only 36 more to go. That's simple human sense. Ask Miller and Associates in Platt, South Dakota, if auto owners make sense for you. You've spent years. Winter Dental, located at 911 Golden Prairie Drive, is proud to provide Winter and the surrounding area with high quality, high tech, patient centered dentistry. Dr. Brad and the entire staff, including hygienists Michaela Smith and Sierra Hansen, are honored to have the opportunity to serve the good people of Winter and the surrounding area with gentle, compassionate, and high quality dental services. For information on all the services they can provide you or to make an appointment, please call 605 842 1793 or go to winterdentalclinic.com. Elevate Agronomics is now added to Cal Basgrow to our seed lineup. Along with brands like LG Seeds, Sakota, and Westbred, we can find the best hybrid to fit your farm. When it comes to your chemicals, we can finance many of your chemical needs for 1.9% while still offering full cash discounts. Elevate is also your precision planting dealer, with a meter stand and an expert on staff to help get your row units and planting equipment ready for this upcoming season. Give us a call or check us out at elevateagronomics.com. Elevate Agronomics, reach new heights. 
your first car. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it and it took care of you, your friends, and maybe that someone special. And through it all, we were there working with you, for you, to make sure it was a smooth ride. Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. Contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent today. Your grandmother's fine china, those trendy sneakers, your collection of hand-carved duck decoys. Auto Owners protects your home. Because, well, somebody should. That's simple human sense. Ask Miller & Associates in Platte, South Dakota, if auto owners make sense for you. Oh, now you do your job. Core Cares helps individuals stay at home by offering caregiving, nursing, and medical alert systems in over 55 communities in South Dakota. Specializing in tasks like bathing, meal prep, and medication setups, our well-trained staff delivers exceptional care. We invest in our team through customized training and comprehensive benefits. To learn more about job opportunities or services, visit our website at corecares.com. Core Cares, proudly serving our community. Core Cares helps. Schrader Electric and Control, located in Winter, is available for all your electrical service needs. With close to 40 years of experience, Brian and his crew can take care of all your electrical projects, residential or commercial. Schrader Electric works with new construction, remodels, and new additions. Call Brian at 605-840-8913 to get a quote or schedule your next electrical service. Schrader Electric and Control is a proud sponsor of the school's on the Live Ticket Network. Do you have a pest problem? Got bats, ants, termites? Family owned and operated, Olson's Pest Technicians have had over 50 years experience taking care of pest problems in places across South Dakota, Nebraska, and Iowa. Utilizing brilliant methods such as Centricon bait stations for termites and Vicane treatment for bed bugs, there's no pest too tough for Olson's Pest Technicians. If you have pest problems, call 800-KILL-BUGS. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. Meyer Ag is your Bex Hybrids seed dealer located in Winters, South Dakota. Meyer Ag is a family-owned company specializing in seed consulting and zone-based variable rate that services South Central South Dakota. Contact Trace Meyer at 605-842-5458 to learn more about Bex Hybrids and see how Meyer Ag can make every acre count for you. Meyer Ag in Winters, South Dakota is a proud supporter of all youth athletics and activities. We connect people. Have been for a hundred years or so. How we get that done? Well, that won't always be the same. But why we connect people? Not in a million years is that ever gonna change. We didn't build the communities that made South Dakota, no. We just brought them together. Being a part of a community means sharing the history and future of the people all around you. For 115 years, First Fidelity Bank has been doing just that, helping you get the most out of life by providing the services and tools you need the conveniences and technology you want, and the friendly faces you expect. So you get everything you need right here in the place you call home. Now and for many years to come. First Fidelity Bank. Being a part of a community. We hope you are all enjoying the student productions of your school. Tonight's event and every event produced by your school during the school year are created, filmed, and produced by the students you love to follow and support. 
Become a booster of your school's live event coverage by becoming a sponsor. It's a great way to show your support of the athletes and students in your community. As a sponsor, you'll get great visibility for your business, organization, or family by supporting the live productions of your school. Wow, Bill, you're walking so much better. What did you do? Well, I got so tired of the pain and nearly fell. And one of my friends recommended physical therapy at Winter Physical Therapy. And you know what? My back also stopped hurting. Huh. So how did you get started? My doctor wrote me a referral, but that's not always needed. Turns out you always have a choice where you want to go. So why did you choose Winter Physical Therapy? I love to support our locally owned small businesses. And quite frankly, they give great personalized care. Winter Physical Therapy. Exceptional care. The right nutrition, animal health, and record management is key to having a profitable cattle program. That's why you want to work with the people at FarmCo, who will take the time to learn your operation and help you grow your business. We are your full-service agriculture provider of feed, seed, animal health, farm, and ranching equipment built on terrific service. Get to know FarmCo locally owned and serving you in Chamberlain, Platte, Winter, and east of Kimball at the Paragon. Visit us online at FarmCoSD.com. FarmCo, Farm feeding, feeding your future. Your future. Future. Early seed season is here. Litaw Seed carries Hefty brand corn and beans for their genetics, technology, and treatments. Hefty's corn has been very drought tolerant and an excellent yielding. We also have Enlist and Extendiflex soybeans for your choice in herbicide. With Dynagro, we're at the top of the South Dakota field trials for their sunflowers and milo. And with Millbarn, we're the leader in grass, cover crop, and forages. Call 605-840-4591 for Litaw Seed, your source for corn to cover crops, soybeans to sunflowers, and all forages. That's 605-840-4591. Early The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends. How to fit in. How to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 57,000 participants here in South Dakota who take part in high school sports or activities. No job is too big or small for the gang at h and Electric in winter. Whether it's a simple task around the house, remodel, new addition, or new construction, we provide residential, commercial, and industrial heating, cooling, or electrical work in winter and the surrounding area. We handle it all. Call 605-842-1117 for service or more information on your next project, big or small. h and Electric is your authorized dealer for train heating systems, too. Good luck in today's event. h and Electric is a proud supporter of all area student athletes and activities on Live Ticket TV. No job is too. Grossenberg has cut prices on sweeps so you can easily cut through weeds next season. Save 15% on select sweeps when buying 50 or more. Plus, you can save on attaching hardware adapters and springs. So make a clean sweep by saving 15% on select John Deere sweeps at Grossenberg. Stop by one of our nine locations or visit Grossenberg.com. Offer ends 229.24. Some restrictions apply. See dealer for eligible parts list and full offer details. Just as you aim to reach new heights on the field or court, Elevate Agronomics is here to help you do the same on your farm. Putting together a solid plan for each customer is the goal at Elevate, so you can win all season long. With a full lineup of field seeds, including corn, soybeans, alfalfa, sorghum, forage, cover crops, wildlife habitat, and more, along with a full line of chemicals and plant health products, Elevate is ready to put your plans into action. Check us out at ElevateAgronomics.com or stop by the office in winter today. Elevate Agronomics. Reach new heights. Your local cooperative has a new name. CHS Northern Plains and CHS Midwest Cooperative have joined together to better serve you under the new name CHS River Plains. You gain more options and more value with access to global markets and a powerful supply chain. And you can do more every day using inputs delivered by a team who knows what you need, when you need it. Visit us online at chsriverplains.com or stop in today and let us help you own every day. Your first car. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it and it took care of you, your friends, and maybe that someone special. And through it all, we were there working with you 
before you to make sure it was a smooth ride. Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. Contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent today. Shop local with Burke and Gregory Building Centers, your hometown hardware stores, specializing in everything from finding the right drill bit to building your dream home. The crew at Burke and Gregory Building Centers take pride in customer service and are always available to help with any project, big or small. They offer top-of-the-line flooring and cabinetry, a large inventory of rental items, quality Pittsburgh paint, and so much more. Follow them on Facebook and shop online anytime at bgbuildingcenter.com. At American Family Insurance, we help protect what you've achieved so you can fearlessly go after your dreams. For auto, home, business, and life, contact us today. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. American Family Insurance, Life Mutual, Standard of Ohio, Wisconsin Company, 6000 American Parkway, Madison, Wisconsin, 53783. Agrimax and West River Ag have been in the winter area for a combined total of nine years. We offer top-of-the-line services and inputs such as chemical, seed, fertilizer application, spraying, and agronomy services with a certified crop advisor on staff. We are a full-service business that is locally owned and operated. We look forward to continuing service to the ag community and cannot wait to help you with all your agricultural needs. Agrimax, shaping the future of ag. This is what matters. This is beyond X's and O's. This is the difference mutual respect makes. This is what character looks like. This is what defines us in South Dakota. This is sportsmanship. School sports, it's not the outcome that matters most, but the way the games are played. This message presented by the South Dakota High School Activities Association and the South Dakota Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. Producers, now's a great time to get your seed meters inspected so you're ready for spring planting. Right now, Grosselberg Implement, your John Deere dealer, with nine locations in South Dakota, Nebraska, and Wyoming, is offering $25 labor per row all month long. Contact one of Grosselberg Implement's service managers and schedule your planter seed meter inspection so it's ready for spring. Grosselberg Implement, where service... And here we are. Another double header. It's a triple header. Triple header. Junior, starting with the junior varsity boys, and we will, after this game, be going to the varsity girls and then varsity boys. Doing the same live stream? Yeah. One live stream tonight? All right. So stick around for all three games, and here we are, just about tip off here. Jonah Mustard to jump for us. And who are we playing tonight, bud? The Jones County Coyotes. Here we go. And Clone wins the tip off. Tipped over to Tyson Wetzel. Passes it to Sam Bransgard. Oh, and a three-pointer to begin us, and it does not go in. Yay! Rebounded by Jonah Musser and gets the Cowboys, Cowboys. off to a two-nothing start. <coughs> and for the record, I don't think Abraham has coughed since Saturday night until right then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the Coyotes put up two quick points as well. Two to two game here to start us off. Cash Hemming bringing the ball down. Not quite the loud game it was the other night. Oh, mishandled there by Jonah, but he recovered. <laughs> Almost stolen by Jones County. Cash thought about shooting that. Yes, he did. Uh, went around the rim and come down. No basket for Cowboys. For the Cowboys. Fake three-pointer. Pass it around the perimeter there. They yeah, like doing that. Yeah. And a jump shot. A little too hard. Right over the basket. Shot clock down to 10 seconds. Do they have to make it in the 35 seconds? They don't have to make it. It's got to hit the rim. Right. 
And a foul committed by the Cowboys leads to two shots. two shots for number 22 for the Jones County Coyotes. I want to say Coyotes because I went to USD. I think hey. Arizona. Arizona, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, we I'm a hockey his, fan. Missed his first shot there. And here's shot number two for the Coyotes. And it goes in easily. It's a three to two game now. Coyotes leading. I predicted a scoreboard. Also known as me thinking that he made it. Sam Bransgard passed to Tyson Wetzel there. Oh, and Tyson ball got knocked uh, knocked away, deflected, and he passes it off to Cash Hemming. Come on, Cash. Shoot Shot three. clock at seven. Come on, Cash. And it hits the rim. Good job. And the rebound by Cologne by Jonah Musser. Excellent job. Oh. Not sure what happened. I think it went out, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Possession to the Coyotes to bring the ball back down the court. Passing it around, getting underneath the basket. Fouled on the shot. Two shots. Yeah, two shots. Basket did not go in. Or the shot did not go in, I should say. And this will be number 21 for Jones County shooting. The basket didn't get in. The basket didn't get in the basket. I don't know why. Tough to think about. <laughs> I had a long day at work today, so. So shot number one for for uh, Jones County. And it does not go in. Bounces a couple times off the rim. Did not go in. And we're very quiet here in the gym. And it makes me very self-conscious. <laughs> it feels like we're the only ones talking. Yep. And the second shot goes in. And it's a 4-2 game. Seven and a half minutes left in this half. Cash Hemming brings the ball down again for the Coyotes. almost said the Coyotes. For the Cowboys. Shot by Cash comes up short and rebounded by Jones County. And they are running, running down to the basket. They have a respectful name. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, Sam! Stolen by Sam Brands. Got to put up. I got to clap. Sam's a good kid. It's good to see him get a couple points there. And the steal. And we are tied 4-4. Four to four. And I kicked your water bottle over. Yep. It's okay, though. And a layup put put up by the Coyotes, 6-4. I got to reset my water bottle here. What? I had to set my water bottle back. Oh, reset. Yeah. Oh, out on... Jones County. Sam Go ahead, sorry. We don't have opinions, we have facts. <laughs> Pass the wide open cash Hemming. He puts the ball up and misses a shot. Rebounded by Jones County and stolen by Col by Cologne. Jonah. Jonah Musser coming down, passes it to Cash, who brings it outside the three-point line. He was a bit smothered there by the defense. Come on, Sam. Oh. Keep it going, Sam. Keep oh, it going. Oh, between the legs. And a push there on Jones County. No, it was a push against us. Yeah, on Jones County. No. On Cologne. The push rule oh. is if one of the Cowboys push, but it's still your ball. Oh, my mistake. My mistake. The easy put up there by Jonah Musser. It would be a body or a technical. Okay, my mistake. Is. And there's Abraham to clarify the rules for us. Yeah, I think. I knew that. I just wanted you to sound like you knew better than me. Oh. Gonna get technical here. Yes. <laughs> and a couple miss, a couple miss shots by the Coyotes leads to a Cologne rebound. 
And it's a 6-6 game with five and a half minutes left. Cash Hemming outside the three-point perimeter here. Passes. Oh, what a pass. Yeah, that was a great pass to Jonah. And shot put up by Sam Bransgard. Calls short, but rebounded by Cash. Ten seconds on the shot clock, Cash. It's number. And did a ball go out? Is it? Yeah. And there's Jones County bringing the ball down. Ooh, everything's Man, they're, quiet. They're doing, yeah, they're doing some good passing, though. Double dribble called on Jones County, and Cologne gets the ball. Woo! And I don't know if you can see him right there, but former Cologne player Cash Heath is refing today. Hi, Cash. Last game I called Cash Hemming Cash Heath. At least once, I know. <laughs> yeah, I remember. There's Shea Monroe bringing the ball down. Pass to Sam Bransgard. Run. Ah, double dribble. Double dribble, Sam. He knows. Don't dribble. It used to be a, <coughs> a Nintendo game, I think it was. Double dribble. A basketball game. Was it where you dribbled a bunch? <laughs> no, you just, you just... It was just a basketball game. I can't remember a whole lot about it. Other than... I did play it, but... The details are fuzzy. Detail. Shea Monroe bringing the ball down again for Cologne. Long pass to Sam Bransgard. It's a fuzzy thought. Yeah, you get old like me, a lot of your memories become fuzzy, bud. And a layup there by William Slaymaker. Two eight more six. points for Cologne. Eight to six. Four minutes left in the half here. Oh, almost stolen by Jonah Musser. Oh, and passed right to Tyson Wetzel, but it bounced off of him. And Jones County with a jump shot there ties it at eight. And we've got a timeout here taken by Jones County. Three minutes and 48 seconds left on the clock for this half here. Clone making a good showing of things, but so, are, so is uh, Jones County. So are. Well, it's going pretty good. <laughs> You're going to fill in some dead time? Yeah. So how was your day at school today, son? Good. Did you get in any trouble? No. Did you cause any trouble? No. Good. Good. We read part of the Odyssey in second hour, part of the Taming of the Shrew in fourth hour. Pretty good stuff. And the juniors did not seem excited to read Oedipus Rex. Read what? Oedipus Rex. That's coming up after the <laughs> British Lit section. What's Oedipus Rex? It is a play about the tragedy of the King, uh, King Oedipus in ancient Greece. Mm. It is really phenomenal. The students just don't know it yet. But da, they will. Da, da. They but might they now. <laughs> I gotta talk it up a bit more. Shea Monroe pass to Tyson Wetzel, but the pass goes wild. Recovered by Jones County. Oh, almost. I thought that guy was gonna shoot a three. Under the basket, shot miss. Recovered by Jones County, Come on, though. Sam, steal that ball. It's a lively possession here. And another layup, and that one goes in. It's a 10 to 8 game in favor of Jones County. Sam Bransgard brings the ball down. Come on, Cash. When I was in class this, this morning, oh, and Jones County steals the ball. Fast break, pass that goes out of bounds, and it's Cologne ball. 
When I first got to class this morning, Sam is in uh, one of my morning classes, and I looked at him. I said, Sam, you got pink eye? But he had gotten elbowed in the eye in the previous game Saturday. His eye, right eye was swollen up. Is it gone now? I haven't seen him this afternoon until now. I haven't seen him up close. But, yeah, he had obviously <laughs> been bashed pretty hard. In the game? Yeah, he said it happened in the game. Ah. And that's it, why, folks, we wear glasses. <laughs> no, you don't want to get elbowed in the eye with glasses. Rebounded yeah. by Jones County. And First of all, you don't want to get elbowed in the in. eye. What's that? First of all, you don't want to get elbowed in the eye. True, period. It's a 12 to 8 game, two minutes left in this half. Sam Brands got bringing the ball down. Almost lost control of his dribble there. Pass to William Slaymaker. Pass out to Jonah Musser. Jump shot by Jonah. Misses. Oh, and he almost got his own rebound, but it goes out of his grip and out of bounds. Jonah. And number 22 for Coyotes to bring the ball down. Oh, almost a travel there. Jones County in the corner with the ball. Push called on Jones County. It's still their ball. Still their ball. And Jones County confusion on what play they're going to do, and it results in another timeout for them. Minute and a half left in this half. 12 oh. to 8 game, Jones County. So there's a pushing foul. I guess that's what it is. It occurs when a defender pushes an offensive player or bumps into the body of an offensive player. So it is against Clo er, Jones County and Clo. Yeah. <clears throat> Either way, it's Jones County ball right now. Yeah. And Jones County takes the floor again. Cologne's about to break out here. Wait, I think I just heard them say coyotes. <sighs> I thought you asked. <laughs> we'll say coyotes from now on. And it's coyotes now. Slick little jump shot there. Miss. It was a good move. Number 22 charges in and passes out. Pass passes the ball out. <laughs> passes. Looks like he was about to shoot a three-pointer like there. He passed out. Yeah. <laughs> and jump shot missed. Rebounded by Jones County. We got to get those rebounds, guys. We are under a minute here in this half. Ooh. 56 seconds left. Jones County to bring the ball back out. It's knocked out of bounds by Cologne. And a long, long shot. Stolen by Jonah Musser. Brings the ball down. Come on, Jonah. Cash Hemming with the shot, misses, and rebounded by Jones County. Brings it down, puts the layup up, and they is, it is good, 14 to eight. Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones County. South Dakota Jones County. Jones County, Indiana. Oh, out, out on Cologne, I thought it was out on Jones County. 14.7 seconds left. Jones County to inbound the ball here. Hey, Dad, what are we having for dinner? Tacos. Oh, good. Plenty of time to get a shot off here. Are we going to have to go home? We will eventually. Oh, okay. Good. It's the ball. It puts a shot up. Missed. And it is Cologne ball with one second left. We'll score totally. Just shoot it from there. <laughs> Takes one dribble. 
Don't listen to what I say. And the ball goes out. Tried to pass it to Jonah Muster down the court. Slapped away by Jones County. And we are at halftime here. We got, what, three minutes, I think? Five minutes. Five, Five minutes. minutes. So we will take a little break. The other half of a great product. Go to Grossenberg.com for details. Producers, now's a great time to get your... Whether you're pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start so that the people may live. Calling all honey lovers. Dakota Honey in Winter offers some of the purest honey on the market. South Dakota's diverse wildflower population makes for very light colored sweet honey that comes straight from the hives to their bottles. Shop online at dakotahoneyco.com for pure local honey, flavored spun honey, beeswax candles, and more. Wholesale products are also available at Dakota Honey, and you can find their products on the shelves of various local spots in the area. Dakota Honey in winter, it's the bee's knees. You've spent years dreaming up your business plan, saving every dollar, searching for the right location, and perfecting your product. Auto Owners insures your small business, because it isn't small to you. Only 36 more to go. That's simple human sense. Ask Miller & Associates in Platte, South Dakota, if auto owners make sense for you. You've spent years... Winter Dental, located at 911 Golden Prairie Drive, is proud to provide Winter and the surrounding area with high-quality, high-tech, patient-centered dentistry. Dr. Brad and the entire staff, including hygienists Michaela Smith and Sierra Hansen, are honored to have the opportunity to serve the good people of Winter and the surrounding area with gentle, compassionate, and high-quality dental services. For information on all the services they can provide you or to make an appointment, please call 605-842-1793 or go to winterdentalclinic.com. Elevate Agronomics is now added to Cal Baz Grow to our seed lineup. Along with brands like LG Seeds, Sakota, and Westbred, we can find the best hybrid to fit your farm. When it comes to your chemicals, we can finance many of your chemical needs for 1.9% while still offering full cash discounts. Elevate is also your precision planting dealer with a meter stand and an expert on staff to help get your row units and planting equipment ready for this upcoming season. Give us a call or check us out at elevateagronomics.com. Elevate Agronomics. Reach new heights. Your first car. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it and it took care of you, your friends, and maybe that someone special. And through it all, we were there working with you, for you, to make sure it was a smooth ride. Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. Contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent today. Your grandmother's fine china, those trendy sneakers, your collection of hand-carved duck decoys. Auto Owners protects your home. Because, well, somebody should. That's simple human sense. Ask Miller & Associates in Platte, South Dakota, if auto owners make sense for you. Oh, now you do your job. Core Cares helps individuals stay at home by offering caregiving, nursing, and medical alert systems in over 55 communities in South Dakota. Specializing in tasks like bathing, meal prep, and medication setups, our well-trained staff delivers exceptional care. We invest in our team through customized training and comprehensive benefits. To learn more about job opportunities or services, visit our website at corecares.com. Core Cares, proudly serving our community. Core Cares helps Schrader Electric and Control, located in Winter, is available for all your electrical service needs. With close to 40 years of experience, Brian and his crew can take care of... 
All right, we are back with the second half of the junior varsity game. And I think the name of the team is Coyotes, just like the USD Coyotes. Yeah. But we will call them the Coyotes. Yeah. <laughs> we should just yell out and ask them, hey, kid, is it Coyotes? I can do that. Right <laughs> <laughs> so it's Jones County ball to start off this half. And they have a 14 to 8 lead on the, uh, the Clone Cowboys. The Coyotes pass that outside the three point line and miss. Still looking. Rebounded by Jones County. A little jerky camera movement there by the camera guy. Man, we should really fire him. Probably should. Out of, out of bounds on Jones County there. Clone to have the ball. Sam Brands guarded inbound to Cash Hemming. Oh, and a pass stolen by number 22. Goes up for a layup and puts it in. It's a 16 to 8 game. Next time, use the backboard. <laughs> Sloppy passing there by Cologne. Oh, and another pass almost stolen. And a blocked shot leads to another switch of possession here. A missed layup, rebounded, and put in by Jones County. And it's an 18-8 game. Four very quick points for the Coyotes. Come on, guys. Passes That's it a Tyson, Tyson Wetzel. Passes back to William Slaymaker. And William fouled on the pass there, it looks. And it is Cologne ball. Sam Brands guard to inbound. Uh, another push, huh? They're coming. Sam to inbound the ball it's again. It's such a physical game, you know. There's so yeah. many of those. Yeah, it's a lot more of a contact sport than you think it is. Yeah. Like your fouls, you're going to get hit. And miss shot. Woo! Mosser tipped in by Tyson Wetzel. Good job, guys. Who gets the... Oh, Tyson gets the points on that. Yeah. Jonah with the assist. Jones County, can they answer? Oh, and a foul by Tyson Wetzel. Oh, was it out on him? I thought he fouled him. He knocked the ball out. That's what it was. And Jones County inbounds to number five. Passes to number 22. And Pass out to number 40, he shoots and misses. Rebounded Whoa. by Cologne as William Slaymaker falls to the ground there. He got pushed pretty bad. No, uh, he just kind of jumped and landed wrong, I think. Yeah. He landed between two defenders. Yep. Tell you what, that number 22 for Jones County, they got to watch him. He's a good shooter. Oh, yeah. And having said, oh, and Cologne got the point. Yeah. And Jones County inbounded the ball, and the guy he threw it to wasn't looking. And it bounced off his back and off the leg of a Cologne player and ran out of bounds. Whoa. So it is Jones County ball. We almost had he another turnover there. He should have pushed his leg in, out and made sure it didn't hit his foot. And missed layup. Re rebounded and missed and rebounded by all. Swing you. Jump ball there. It's blue. Yep, what? clone ball, clone ball. There hasn't been any tip, any jump balls, and we got the... Yeah, we got the tip, didn't we? Yeah. Shouldn't it be blue ball? Maybe it changes after halftime. I don't know. And the attempted steal knocked it out of bounds, but Sam Bransgard tried to grab it. Slipped through his fingers. It is Jones County ball. It looks like there's a timeout called. So. 18 to 12. Not bad, not bad. Seven and a half minutes left. We can definitely make up six points in seven and a half minutes. Yeah. We just got to stop them from scoring. I don't have a program. Again, but I don't think it matters. <laughs> it it's easier just call them by their numbers, isn't it? Oh. 
186 points. Wow. So the the most points ever scored by a who are you waving to? <laughs> Kingsley. She was waving at somebody on the court, so I waved back. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking it is Coyote's ball here. You know, inbound the ball. Oh, Cash Emmon got a hand on the ball, but couldn't quite <laughs> steal it away, and Jones County ends up with a 20 to 12 lead. Sam Bransgard brings the ball down, passes to Cash. I think my quote unquote cold was just sinus problems. Yeah, I think so too. The weather change coming Saturday. Yeah. Three point shot by Cash Hemming misses, but rebounded by Jonah Musser. So the most points ever scored by one team in the in an NBA game is 186. Is that all? Yeah, by the Chicago Bulls. When was that? When do you think that was? <laughs> oh. Foul on Cologne. No shot. Shot does not count. Didn't go in anyway, but. But yeah, uh, it probably. I would say the Michael Jordan years. Yes. The years they won it like six straight. Didn't Rating? they win it like No, they six won three straight. straight, then Michael retired, played baseball for a few years, came back, won three straight again. He's the lucky charm. That's, uh, Why does one he way coach? Put it? Well, I don't know, but maybe the same reason Ted Williams wasn't a great baseball manager, because... Great players, people who don't struggle a lot, have difficulty coaching others because so many things just seem to come natural to them. So when you're struggling, a shot there by Jones County, rebounded by Jones County, two rebounds. Push. And a, f a foul on Cologne oh, leads to two shots for Jones County. But as I was saying, really great players struggle to explain how they do things because they don't think about it. When you really struggle as a player, you have to think about what am I doing that's wrong and work on it in that manner. And that's what makes a good coach, being able to diagnose what somebody else is doing wrong. That's my hypothetical. And it very well could just be that he's a billionaire and doesn't need to. <laughs> but he does have, or used to have at least, part ownership in a team, so maybe a conflict what of interest there. What team was it? Uh, Washington Wizards. Oh. And he missed both free throws. Woo. Tyson Wetzel re rebounds the second. And Shea Monroe brings the ball down for Cologne. And the ball is off the foot of a Jones County player and rolls out of bounds. We have six minutes and 14 seconds left. I like it when it's off their feet. Well, as long as it's off the other team's feet. Sam looking for someone to pass it to. And it becomes a loose ball recovered by Jones County. And a quick oh! pass down, and it goes out of bounds. Shay, don't open that door. And it is Cologne ball again. What did it ever do to you? Actually, I think you just slammed into it. But <laughs> maybe that's the right word. And Cologne inbounds the ball. Cash Hemming bringing it down. We need some points here, guys. Six minutes left in the game. We need eight eight points for sure. For sure. For sure. And missed shot rebounded by Jones County. Pass down the court. Two quick passes down the court and a shot. And that's yeah, easy points. 22 to 12. Coyotes. Is that what I was about to say? <laughs> Coyotes quit scoring. Cash Hemming with a long three-point shot. It goes in. It's a 22-15 game. Excellent shot by Cash. I accidentally clicked the two-point button. That's all right. Do you have that 17-point button yet? Great play by Jones County. Missed the shot, but great play. I actually and forget how to change those. A travel call on Jones County there in the midst of all the rebounds. And it is Cologne ball, 22 to 15. Cash bringing the ball down again. Pass in to Jonah Musser. 
Passes it back to Cash and another three point shot. Oh! In. 22 to 18. There you go. Keep it up, Cash. For Two the money. Excellent shots by Cash Hemming there. Cash. Jones County bringing the ball in. Oh, and a jump. Is it a jump ball? No, it was a foul call on Clome somewhere along the line there. And Jones County will inbound the ball again. Number 11 to inbound the ball. Got to keep it out of hands of number 22 back there. Jones County passing the ball around. An easy layup shot missed and rebounded by Tyson Wetzel, big guy. Woo! Pass got deflected, but Tyson was able to knock it over to Cash Hemming. Pass to William Slaymaker and layup oh. missed. And rebounded by Jones County. Fast break here. Two on three. Foul on the layup. And two shots for Jones County. Number 11 get two free shots here. Four minutes, 11 seconds left. At least it's not 22. You can't be tired yet, boy. You're full of energy. You're young. Got your health. <laughs> I didn't drink a bunch of coffee to say. And first shot is perfect by number 11. Makes it a 23 to 18 game. And shot number two coming up. Goldberg. And shot number two misses. No rim is called for Cologne. They will inbound the ball 23 to 18. Cold against the Coyotes. Yep. I'm going to go put it's on the hoodie. Deal. It's time out here. We will take a little short break. Your electrical projects, residential or commercial. Schrader Electric works with new construction, remodels, and new additions. Call Brian at 605-840-8913 to get a quote or schedule your next electrical service. Schrader Electric and Control is a proud sponsor of the schools on the Live Ticket Network. Do you have a pest problem? Got bats, ants, termites? Family owned and operated, Olson's Pest Technicians have had over 50 years experience taking care of pest problems in places across South Dakota, Nebraska, and Iowa. Utilizing brilliant methods such as Centricon bait stations for termites and Vicane treatment for bed bugs, there's no pest too tough for Olson's Pest Technicians. All right, and, and we are back. Yep. It's clombed inbound the ball. Abraham got, had enough time to put his hoodie on. It's chilly in here. There's air conditioning. I, want, I don't know if the air conditioning is running today, but it is kind of chilly in here. It's always chilly in here. And shot by, was that Tyson or Jonah who made that? I think it was Jonah. It's 23 to 20 game. Look at this heavy coverage. Yeah, full, heavy full court press right here. Four minutes left in the game. Jones County with... Oh. And the, the pass is deflected by Cologne, but we could not recover the ball. And a foul called on Cologne here. Jones County to bring in the ball. It's 23 to 20. Oh, he's shooting. I take it back. He's shooting. Don't see Number 11 it. again. Two shots. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. And he misses his first shot. 23-20. Come on, Cologne. Got the big guys down by the basket. Jonah Mustard, Tyson Wetzel. They're the big guys. That's right. And oh, big, Jonah big reco guys. recovers. Rebounds the ball. Quick pass to Sam Bransgard. He misses the pass and has to... He gets... Re the pass was taken by Jones County. It just about went out of bounds, and Sam tried to save it, and when he did, it went to Jones County. No. And two more shots for Jones County here. Number 11 to shoot again. Three and a half minutes left in the game. Come on, guys. And it bounces off the rim right into Tyson Wetzel's hands. And Jordan Musser comes in to replace Tyson. Another big, tall guy. He's big guy. He's a big dude. They're big guy. 
Thank and God. number 11. Sorry, shoots again and misses his second shot as well. Rebounded by Jordan Musser and passed to Sam Bransgard. Brings it down the court. Cash Hemming passes to Jonah. Pass back to Cash. Back to Jonah. Over to William, William Slaymaker. Takes a three and misses. Oh, rebounded by Sam, but his foot was just out of bounds. That's why you practice tiptoes. <laughs> <laughs> Jones County to inbound the ball. Get them toes like your abs. And stolen oh. by Cash Hemming. Pass to Jordan Musser. Oh. Or Jonah, Jonah Musser. And a layup by Jonah. It's a one-point game. Stage blue. Tipped out of bounds by Cash Hemming. Jones County to inbound the ball. Three minutes left in the game here. One point game. This is how you want a game to be right here. Both teams playing well. Woo! And a pass stolen by Coloma again. Blocked by Jonah Mut and stolen right back by Jones okay. County. Stolen again by Coloma. Now the Slow the game down, guys. Slow down. Slow down. Man, pass to Jonah. Pass to William. That was quick. Over to Kay. That was great. And another stolen pass here. Jump ball. That's blue. Blue ball. Jump ball there. What a series of events here. My goodness. 2.24 on the clock. Number 11 to inbound the ball. And they successfully inbound the ball, but immediately double team. And what was that? Double dribble? Is that what he said? Travel. Man. Travel. Cologne ball. One point game. Two minutes, 24 seconds. Come on, guys. Just slow the game down. Sam inbounds to Cash. He passes it back. And he passes it back to Cash again. How is his name spelled? Pass it Jordan Musser. He missed the layup and recovered by Jonah. Yeah! And he takes the lead. 24 to 23. A beautiful layup by Jonah Musser. And a st steal by Cash Hemming. And it is Cologne Ball. Cash. <laughs> what a call. He, he, he tried to pass the ball and bounced off of the Jones County player and went out of bounds. So it is still Cologne Ball here. 24-23 Cologne lead with two minutes left. Now imagine having Joseph with us. Oh, I know. I know. We just. Sam, long shot by Sam. Misses and goes out of bounds. Two minutes left on the clock here. And the Coyotes to inbound. And st oh! Oh, stolen inbound pass, but Cash knocked it out of bounds. So they will inbound again. Five, fetch a Slava. <laughs> and pass it away. Pass interference. Pass right the there. ball away, and it is Cologne ball. Holding. Cash Hemming is going to inbound the ball here for Cologne. Holding. Offense number whatever Pass it is. Pass to Jonah Musser. <laughs> I think Abraham's confusing his sports here. <laughs> I am. I and know. a pass to Sam Bransgard. It tips off his hand and goes out of bounds. Minute 50 left on the clock. Man, that's the longest 15 seconds I tell <laughs> Jones County to inbound again. And they successfully inbound it. Heavy, heavy pressing. Forward and back on yeah. Jones County. One foot over the half line. 143. Come on, guys. Come on. Oh, yeah. I got to yell at him. Hang on. Let's go, Sam. I had to yell at Sam. Just slow the game down, guys. You got this. Inbounds to Cash Hemming. Hopefully, you heard what I said. <laughs> Did you? A Rams telling the team to slow the game down a little. Oh, and the ball stolen out of Cash Hemming's hand by number 22. Puts a layup up, makes it, and gets a shot on it as well. But we can't do that. Uh, that's the guy you got to be careful with. That guy is good. 25 to 24 with a minute and a half left. Red it, did, 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 do. All right, bud, let's see what happens here. And he puts a shot up, and it goes in 26-24. Clone ball, minute and a half left. Come on, Cash. Come on, guys. 
You got this. Don't let any steals. Oh, and there it goes. Fast break here. Why do I even talk? <laughs> Rebounded by Jordan Musser, who passes to Jonah Musser. Coming from, down the court in a hurry. From Musser to Musser. Pass to Sam book. Bransgard. Pass back to Musser to Musser. And a shot by Jordan. Oh! Oh! It's a tied game with less than a minute left. Oh, an open shot. Shot. Oh, and a foul by Jordan Musser on the shooter, number 21. 26-26 with 51 seconds left in the game. Hooking defense, number 45. That's <laughs> <laughs> essentially what it was, to be honest with you. Number 21 to take his shots here. Your first shot is perfect. 27-26. Oh. Hooking defense, number 20, 45. <laughs> Let's see if we can get a rebound here. And we get the rebound, Jonah Musser. One point game, 45 seconds left. Pass to Sam, pass to Cash. Woo! Take it! Pass to Jordan Musser. And he shoots, and he is fouled! Yes! Score them both! Foul, Jordan Musser. Two on, shots Jordan. with 39 seconds left in a one point game. Come on, Jordan. The free shots, you got this. And he misses his first shot. Come on, sink this next one in, Jordan. Come on. Just go. Free. Come on, buddy. Make it nothing but that. Come on. Come on, bud. And oh. it bounces off. And he his foot went over the line. It is Jones County ball with 37 seconds left. Come on, guys. You got to get a steal or something here. Do not allow a point here. Let him get out of bounds, though. And a shot. Oh. Layup there. Three-point game. 29-26. 19 seconds left. Oh, and a pass to Cash Hemming. Brings it back over the half line. Forward and back. Jones County has the ball with 17 seconds. Three-point lead. Oh, oh. No stolen by Sam Bransgard. Come on, guys. Ten seconds. Foul by Jordan Musser. On number 11. We'll see what happens here. Yeah. Today hasn't been the most uh, accurate free throw shooter. He has made several, though, so we'll see what happens here. Two shots for him. And the first one goes in. It's a four-point game with eight seconds left. Don't 30 to 26. That. Don't say that. <laughs> Don't say that too soon. <laughs> if we shoot a three, make get it fouled. and get fouled, and we make that, then we tie it. Five-point game. Never Why mind. Why do I even talk? <laughs> Sam Bransgard brings the ball down for Cologne. Come on, Sam, just shoot it. Cash shoots. And it does not go in. In a hard-fought game by both teams. Congratulations to Jones County Junior Varsity Boys for winning that game. That was a hard game. 31 to 26 is the final. And we are stick around with us. We got the varsity girls coming up. The clock is set to 10 minutes, so I assume in 10 minutes we'll be starting. That might be a dangerous assumption, but stick around, and the girls' varsity game will be next. Until then, we will see you later. Pest problems? Call 800 Kill Bugs. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. 
Meyer Ag is your Bex Hybrids seed dealer located in Winters, South Dakota. Meyer Ag is a family-owned company specializing in seed consulting and zone-based variable rate that services South Central South Dakota. Contact Trace Meyer at 605-842-5458 to learn more about Bex Hybrids and see how Meyer Ag can make every acre count for you. Meyer Ag in Winters, South Dakota is a proud supporter of all youth athletics and activities. We connect people. Have been for a hundred years or so. How we get that done? Well, that won't always be the same. But why we connect people? Not in a million years is that ever going to change. We didn't build the communities that made South Dakota. No. We just brought them together. Being a part of a community means sharing the history and future of the people all around you. For 115 years, First Fidelity Bank has been doing just that, helping you get the most out of life by providing the services and tools you need, the conveniences and technology you want, and the friendly faces you expect. So you get everything you need right here in the place you call home. Now and for many years to come. First Fidelity Bank. Being a part of a community. We hope you are all enjoying the student productions of your school. Tonight's event and every event produced by your school during the school year are created, filmed, and produced by the students you love to follow and support. Become a booster of your school's live event coverage by becoming a sponsor. It's a great way to show your support of the athletes and students in your community. As a sponsor, you'll get great visibility for your business, organization, or family by supporting the live productions of your school. Wow, Bill, you're walking so much better. What did you do? Well, I got so tired of the pain and nearly fell. And one of my friends recommended physical therapy at Winter Physical Therapy. And you know what? My back also stopped hurting. Huh. So how did you get started? My doctor wrote me a referral, but that's not always needed. Turns out you always have a choice where you want to go. So why did you choose Winter Physical Therapy? I love to support our locally owned small businesses. And quite frankly, they give great personalized care. Winter Physical Therapy. Exceptional care the right nutrition, animal health, and record management is key to having a profitable cattle program. That's why you want to work with the people at FarmCo, who will take the time to learn your operation and help you grow your business. We are your full-service agriculture provider of feed, seed, animal health, farm, and ranching equipment built on terrific service. Get to know FarmCo locally owned and serving you in Chamberlain, Platte, Winter, and east of Kimball at the Paragon. Visit us online at farmcosd.com. FarmCo, Farm feeding, feeding your, your future. future. Early seed season is here. Litaw Seed carries Hefty brand corn and beans for their genetics, technology, and treatments. Hefty's corn has been very drought tolerant and an excellent yielding. We also have Enlist and Extendiflex soybeans for your choice in herbicide. With Dynagro, we're at the top of the South Dakota field trials for their sunflowers and milo. And with Millbarn, we're the leader in grass, cover, crop, and forages. Call 605-840-4591 for Litaw Seed, your source for corn to cover crops, soybeans to sunflowers, and all forages. That's 605-840-4591. Early the innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends. How to fit in. How to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 57,000 participants here in South Dakota who take part in high school sports or activities. No job is too big or small for the gang at h &O Electric in winter. Whether it's a simple task around the house, remodel, new addition, or new construction, we provide residential, commercial, and industrial heating, cooling, or electrical work in winter and the surrounding area. We handle it all. Call 605-842-1117 for service or more information on your next project, big or small. h &O Electric is your authorized dealer for train heating systems, too. Good luck in today's event. h &O Electric is a proud supporter of all area student athletes and activities on live ticket TV.
No job is too... Grossenberg has cut prices on sweeps so you can easily cut through weeds next season. Save 15% on select sweeps when buying 50 or more. Plus, you can save on attaching hardware adapters and springs. So make a clean sweep by saving 15% on select John Deere sweeps at Grossenberg. Stop by one of our nine locations or visit Grossenberg.com. Offer ends 229.24. Some restrictions apply. See dealer for eligible parts list and full offer details. Just as you aim to reach new heights on the field or court, Elevate Agronomics is here to help you do the same on your farm. Putting together a solid plan for each customer is the goal at Elevate, so you can win all season long. With a full lineup of field seeds, including corn, soybeans, alfalfa, sorghum, forage, cover crops, wildlife habitat, and more, along with a full line of chemicals and plant health products, Elevate is ready to put your plans into action. Check us out at elevateagronomics.com or stop by the office in winter today. Elevate Agronomics, reach new heights. Your local cooperative has a new name. CHS Northern Plains and CHS Midwest Cooperative have joined together to better serve you under the new name CHS River Plains. You gain more options and more value with access to global markets and a powerful supply chain. And you can do more every day using inputs delivered by a team who knows what you need, when you need it. Visit us online at chsriverplains.com or stop in today and let us help you own every day. Your first car. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it and it took care of you, your friends, and maybe that someone special. And through it all, we were there working with you, for you, to make sure it was a smooth ride. Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. Contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent today. Shop local with Burke and Gregory Building Centers, your hometown hardware stores, specializing in everything from finding the right drill bit to building your dream home. The crew at Burke and Gregory Building Centers take pride in customer service and are always available to help with any project, big or small. They offer top-of-the-line flooring and cabinetry, a large inventory of rental items, quality Pittsburgh paint, and so much more. Follow them on Facebook and shop online anytime at bgbuildingcenter.com. At American Family Insurance, we help protect what you've achieved so you can fearlessly go after your dreams. For auto, home, business, and life, contact us today. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. American Family Insurance, Life Mutual, Standard of Ohio, Wisconsin Company, 6000 American Parkway, Madison, Wisconsin, 53783. Agrimax and West River Ag have been in the winter area for a combined total of nine years. We offer top-of-the-line services and inputs such as chemical, seed, fertilizer application, spraying, and agronomy services with a certified crop advisor on staff. We are a full-service business that is locally owned and operated. We look forward to continuing service to the ag community and cannot wait to help you with all your agricultural needs. Agrimax, shaping the future of ag. This is what matters. This is beyond X's and O's. This is the difference mutual respect makes. This is what character looks like. This is what defines us in South Dakota. This is sportsmanship. School sports, it's not the outcome that matters most, but the way the games are played. This message presented by the South Dakota High School Activities Association and the South Dakota Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. Producers, now's a great time to get your seed meters inspected so you're ready for spring planting. Right now, Grossenberg Implement, your John Deere dealer with nine locations in South Dakota, Nebraska, and Wyoming, is offering $25 labor per row all month long. Contact one of Grossenberg Implement's service managers and schedule your planter seed meter inspection so it's ready for spring. Grossenberg Implement, where service is the other half of a great product. Go to Grossenberg.com for details. Producers, now's a great time to get you. Whether you're pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, 
care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services, and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. Calling all honey lovers. Dakota Honey in Winter offers some of the purest honey on the market. South Dakota's diverse wildflower population makes for very light colored sweet honey that comes straight from the hives to their bottles. Shop online at dakotahoneyco.com for pure local honey, flavored spun honey, beeswax candles, and more. Wholesale products are also available at Dakota Honey, and you can find their products on the shelves of various local spots in the area. Dakota Honey in Winter, it's the bee's knees. You've spent years dreaming up your business plan, saving every dollar, searching for the right location, and perfecting your product. Auto Owners insures your small business, because it isn't small to you. Only 36 more to go. That's simple human sense. Ask Miller & Associates in Platte, South Dakota, if Auto Owners makes sense for you. You've spent years... Winter Dental, located at 911 Golden Prairie Drive, is proud to provide Winter and the surrounding area with high-quality, high-tech, patient-centered dentistry. Dr. Brad and the entire staff, including hygienists Michaela Smith and Sierra Hansen, are honored to have the opportunity to serve the good people of Winter and the surrounding area with gentle, compassionate, and high-quality dental services. For information on all the services they can provide you or to make an appointment, please call 605-842-1793 or go to winterdentalclinic.com. Elevate Agronomics is now added to Cal Baz Grow to our seed lineup. Along with brands like LG Seeds, Sakota, and Westbred, we can find the best hybrid to fit your farm. When it comes to your chemicals, we can finance many of your chemical needs for 1.9% while still offering full cash discounts. Elevate is also your precision planting dealer with a meter stand and an expert on staff to help get your row units and planting equipment ready for this upcoming season. Give us a call or check us out at elevateagronomics.com. Elevate Agronomics. Reach new heights. Your first car. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it and it took care of you, your friends, and maybe that someone special. And through it all, we were there working with you, for you, to make sure it was a smooth ride. Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. Contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent today. Your grandmother's fine china, those trendy sneakers, your collection of hand-carved duck decoys. Auto Owners protects your home. Because, well, somebody should. That's simple human sense. Ask Miller & Associates in Platte, South Dakota, if Auto Owners makes sense for you. Oh, now you do your job. Core Cares helps individuals stay at home by offering caregiving, nursing, and medical alert systems in over 55 communities in South Dakota. Specializing in tasks like bathing, meal prep, and medication setups, our well-trained staff delivers exceptional care. We invest in our team through customized training and comprehensive benefits. To learn more about job opportunities or services, visit our website at corecares.com. Core Cares, proudly serving our community. Core Cares helps Schrader Electric and Control, located in Winter, is available for all your electrical service needs. With close to 40 years of experience, Brian and his crew can take care of all your electrical projects, residential or commercial. Schrader Electric works with new construction, remodels, and new additions. Call Brian at 605-840-8913 to get a quote or schedule your next electrical service. Schrader Electric and Control is a proud sponsor of the school's on the Live Ticket Network. Do you have a pest problem? Got bats, ants, termites? 
family owned and operated, Olson's Pest Technicians have had over 50 years experience taking care of pest problems in places across South Dakota, Nebraska, and Iowa. Utilizing brilliant methods such as Centricon bait stations for termites and Vicane treatment for bed bugs, there's no pest too tough for Olson's Pest Technicians. If you have pest problems, call 800 Kill Bugs. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. Meyer Ag is your Bex Hybrids seed dealer located in Winter, South Dakota. Meyer Ag is a family-owned company specializing in seed consulting and zone-based variable rate that services South Central South Dakota. Contact Trace Meyer at 605-842-5458 to learn more about Bex Hybrids and see how Meyer Ag can make every acre count for you. Meyer Ag in Winter, South Dakota is a proud supporter of all youth athletics and activities. We connect people, have been for a hundred years or so. How we get that done? Well, that won't always be the same. But why we connect people? Not in a million years is that ever gonna change. We didn't build the communities that made South Dakota, no. We just brought them together. Being a part of a community means sharing the history and future of the people all around you. For 115 years, First Fidelity Bank has been doing just that, helping you get the most out of life by providing the services and tools you need, the conveniences and technology you want, and the friendly faces you expect. So you get everything you need right here in the place you call home, now and for many years to come. First Fidelity Bank. Being a part of a community. We hope you are all enjoying the student productions of your school. Tonight's event and every event produced by your school during the school year are created, filmed, and produced by the students you love to follow and support. Become a booster of your school's live event coverage by becoming a sponsor. It's a great way to show your support of the athletes and students in your community. As a sponsor, you'll get great visibility for your business, organization, or family by supporting the live productions of your school. Wow, Bill, you're walking so much better. What did you do? Well, I got so tired of the pain and nearly fell. And one of my friends recommended physical therapy at Winter Physical Therapy. And you know what? My back also stopped hurting. Huh. So how did you get started? My doctor wrote me a referral, but that's not always needed. Turns out you always have a choice where you want to go. So why did you choose Winter Physical Therapy? I love to support our locally owned small businesses. And quite frankly, they give great personalized care. Winter Physical Therapy. Exceptional care. The right nutrition, animal health, and record management is key to having a profitable cattle program. That's why you want to work with the people at FarmCo, who will take the time to learn your operation and help you grow your business. We are your full-service agriculture provider of feed, seed, animal health, farm, and ranching equipment built on terrific service. Get to know FarmCo locally owned and serving you in Chamberlain, Platte, Winter, and east of Kimball at the Paragon. Visit us online at FarmCoSD.com. FarmCo, Farm feeding, feeding your future. Future. Early seed season is here. Litaw Seed carries Hefty brand corn and beans for their genetics, technology, and treatments. Hefty's corn has been very drought tolerant and an excellent yielding. We also have Enlist and Extendiflex soybeans for your choice in herbicide. With Dynagro, we're at the top of the South Dakota field trials for their sunflowers and milo. And with Millbarn, we're the leader in grass, cover crop, and forages. Call 605-840-4591 for Litaw Seed, your source for corn to cover crops, soybeans to sunflowers, and all forages. That's 605-840-4591. Early The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends. How to fit in. How to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. 
Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 57,000 participants here in South Dakota who take part in high school sports or activities. No job is too big or small for the gang at h and Electric in winter. Whether it's a simple task around the house, remodel, new addition, or new construction, we provide residential, commercial, and industrial heating, cooling, or electrical work in winter and the surrounding area. We handle it all. Call 605-842-1117 for service or more information on your next project, big or small. h and Electric is your authorized dealer for train heating systems, too. Good luck in today's event. h and Electric is a proud supporter of all area student athletes and activities on Live Ticket TV. No job is too Grossenberg has cut prices on sweeps so you can easily cut through weeds next season. Save 15% on select sweeps when buying 50 or more. Plus, you can save on attaching hardware adapters and springs. So make a clean sweep by saving 15% on select John Deere sweeps at Grossenberg. Stop by one of our nine locations or visit Grossenberg.com. Offer ends 229.24. Some restrictions apply. See dealer for eligible parts list and full offer details. Just as you aim to reach new heights on the field or court, Elevate Agronomics is here to help you do the same on your farm. Putting together a solid plan for each customer is the goal at Elevate, so you can win all season long. With a full lineup of field seeds, including corn, soybeans, alfalfa, sorghum, forage, cover crops, wildlife habitat, and more, along with a full line of chemicals and plant health products, Elevate is ready to put your plans into action. Check us out at elevateagronomics.com or stop by the office in winter today. Elevate Agronomics. Reach new heights. Your local cooperative has a new name. CHS Northern Plains and CHS Midwest Cooperative have joined together to better serve you under the new name CHS River Plains. You gain more options and more value with access to global markets and a powerful supply chain. And you can do more every day using inputs delivered by a team who knows what you need, when you need it. Visit us online at chsriverplains.com or stop in today and let us help you own every day. Your first car. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it and it took care of you, your friends, and maybe that someone special. And through it all, we were there working with you, for you, to make sure it was a smooth ride. Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. Contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent today. Shop local with Burke and Gregory Building Centers, your hometown hardware stores, specializing in everything from finding the right drill bit to building your dream home. The crew at Burke and Gregory Building Centers take pride in customer service and are always available to help with any project, big or small. They offer top-of-the-line flooring and cabinetry, a large inventory of rental items, quality Pittsburgh paint, and so much more. Follow them on Facebook and shop online anytime at bgbuildingcenter.com. At American Family Insurance, we help protect what you've achieved so you can fearlessly go after your dreams. For auto, home, business, and life, contact us today. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. American Family Insurance, Life Mutual Standard of Ohio and Wisconsin Company, 6000 American Parkway, Madison, Wisconsin, 53783. Agrimax and West River Ag have been in the winter area for a combined total of nine years. We offer top-of-the-line services and inputs such as chemical, seed,
And now the starting lineup for the Lady Coyotes. Here we are, the girls basketball here. This is the varsity girls. And you were right, it is a Coyotes. Lady Coyotes in this instance, here to play the Cowgirls. Got an excellent first uh, junior varsity boys game, so we'll see how good this game is. Could have ended a little differently. Yeah. You know. And the tip off. Actually, tip Rich. off goes to Cologne. I don't think the ball was actually hit. <laughs> There's a Leah Musser running with the ball here, past Emmy Nelson, past Raylan Kingsley. Whoa! Ball knocked back over the half court line, recovered by Kingsley. And a pass to Raylan Denning here, running around the perimeter. Looks like some stiff defense, and attempted to. Steal the Burn ball, ends up in a spot. jump shot, or jump ball rather, and it goes to the Coyotes. Lady Coyotes bringing the ball down the court. And we'll see how the Lady Coyotes are with the ball. They throw the ball away. But it's yeah. tapped out by Shalina Kingsley. He tried to save it, couldn't quite get it. Yeah. 
Oh, she was wide open there. Yep. Looking passes of wide. outside the three-point line. And a travel. Travel called on number four for the Lady Coyotes. Yeah, it looks like Emmy Nelson to bring the ball in here. Yeah, full court press. Tough to find an open player. Leah Musser bring the ball down. Pass to Emmy Nelson. And the ball goes loose. And the Lady Coyotes recover. Oh, look Both at that. teams playing loose with the ball so far. It can brings action. And shot up by the Lady Coyotes. I think that was number 25. I don't know. And basket for them. It's two to nothing game. Oh! Out of bounds on Cologne. Man. And it is Lady Coyotes ball again. And uh, best way to start off the basketball Not the game. best way, and an easy layup <laughs> shot by number one. Yeah, it is yeah. number one there. And Aaliyah Musser running around, and the ball is loose. Stolen from Aaliyah. Coyotes get it. And she, yeah, you know, player stole it, ended up bouncing off her own foot. Very loose control here. But it's also 40 nothing. <laughs> 45 seconds in. And a shot there by the Lady Coyotes. Missed and rebounded by the Coyotes. And, oh, looks like oh. it was stolen by Kingsley, but I think there was a foul before the steal. Kingsley! It was, I don't think it was Kingsley. Oh. I think the, the foul happened before Kingsley got it. Well, the Lady Coyotes to inbound the ball here. Oh, she was wide open. Yeah. Way in the back. Pass and the shot layup missed, missed. And Kingsley gets it. Yeah, foul on number 11 for the Lady Coyotes. And it's Cologne Ball. Yeah, it looks like a quick timeout here. And we Early in the game. Run some ads. Advisor application, sprain, and agronomy services with a certified crop advisor on staff. We are a full service business that is locally owned and operated. We look forward to continuing service to the ag community and cannot wait to help you with all your agricultural needs. Agrimax, shaping the future of ag. This is what matters. This is beyond X's and O's. This is the difference mutual respect makes. This is what character looks like. This is... And we are back. Trish. <laughs> Early timeout by the Lady Coyotes. It happens. Cloned inbound the ball. I have Trying seen as, as we get better at doing announcing, we've gotten more loose with what we talk about. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. Wide open, Shalina Kingsley. Wide open, Raylan Denning there. Denning comes under the basket with the ball, and it is stripped by the Lady mm. Coyotes. Oh, Leah just pushed that ball out of her hands. Uh, feel the force. <laughs> yeah, I think it was a foul on Aaliyah there. And the Lady Coyotes to bring the ball down. Passes. And four passes to three. Three to one. Three has it. Passes to four. Passes to two. Three shot. points. This shot. is end. Look at that. Raylan Denning has it. Oh. Rebounded by Denning and reaching in by number 25. Cowgirls with the ball. Reaching. Really Defense aggressive. number 25. Really. Five yard penalty. <laughs> really really do that aggressive every defense time there's tonight. A, there's a, every time there's a foul. And a blocked pass there. Or a blocked inbound pass. It went back out of bounds again. Kingsley. And yeah, pass to Kingsley. Kingsley. Pass to Sheila. Gets the basket and the shot. Excellent opportunity for a three point play here. I didn't even see Kingsley on the screen there until he passed it to her. I'm going to do the football terminology for everything. <laughs> Shalina Kingsley with her shot here. It is good. I called it. It looked good to me. That's <laughs> four to job. three game. Four to three game. Number three looking. Passes it to someone. I can't see the number. Passes it back to three. Passes it to one. Shoot. Three point shot. 
Does not go in and rebounded by Aaliyah Musser. Oh, she just crossed over. Yes, she oh. did. And threw the ball away. And what the door do to you? County ball. Come on, guys. Press. We like that stuff. That stuff's exciting. Lady Coyotes with a quick sub here. Quick two Number subs. two comes into the game. Oh, yeah, it was two, wasn't it? And <coughs> number three bringing the ball down the court. You know those, like, circle things you wear on your leg that they have? Um, not really. <laughs> yeah, like lay up there. Little band thing. Oh, kind of like what Kingsley's got? No. It's on, you wear it, like, around your knee. Oh, knee brace? No, it's not a brace. It's just, like, this little thing they wear. Uh, I don't know, but... It looks like it would just... Oh. Oh, long three-point shot by Aaliyah. Misses, and Kingsley recovers, and it is a... And Kingsley rebounded, and it got taken away. Oh. And stolen by... King oh, trip down there. Kingsley falling down. Foul. Oh. So it was... Push called on number two. So it was a... Push. Rebound by Kingsley... Push. Got ripped out of her hands. Push. And then. Push. And knocked out of bounds by the Coyotes again. Very aggressive defense by the Lady Coyotes. Push. Defense number whatever she is. And a foul on Kingsley oh. as she shoots. And Kingsley will get two shots. Six to three game. Five yard penalty. <laughs> no, no. Come on, Kingsley. Oh, Ooh! there it is. I just realized we have it as the Cowboys on here. Yeah, I knew we'd, there'd be something to get changed. Yeah. Come on, Kingsley. It's every game. Oh, off the rim, second shot. Six four game. Lady Coyotes with the ball heading down the court. Ooh. She was wide open. A pass inside almost stolen, and the layup is good. It's 8-4. to four. Shalina Kingsley to inbound the ball. Inbounds to Aaliyah Musser. Heavy full court press. Ball stolen by the Lady Coyotes. This Both teams playing a bit sloppy right here. Some of the passes not make it I know this is bad, but I can't remember if Raylan made her second shot or not. She did not. I was too busy messing up with football <laughs> terminology to watch the game. Yeah, so let's stay stay on basketball. I would two like points, to see. five fouls for the Lady Coyotes already. So Shalina Kingsley on that foul gets two shots. Come on, oh, Shalina. Kingsley too. You had to yell at her. What's her nickname? Just Shalina. Oh. Oh. It did not go in. Eight to four. Oh, I wanted that to go in. That's so close. Fair. What? <laughs> Come on, Shalina. Nope. The second oh. shot doesn't go either. Rebounded by the Lady Coyotes. And number three coming down the court. But that's... You know, I, like I said, it's some aggressive defense by the Lady Coyotes. Five fouls already. Moving the ball all around the court here. Guys, just smack the ball. Reaching in, I think. And the Lady Coyotes bring the ball back out. I can't ref a basketball <laughs> game, but I can surely ref a hockey game. <laughs> I know all the good things, like icing. I love to ice people. <laughs> good grief. I see the icing. Jump ball should be... Uh, it's Lady Coyote's ball. No. Nope, it's clone ball. Woo! Clone ball. The possession arrow was showing Coyotes. Yeah, that's it's like backwards. No, I don't get it. And 
pass deflected out on the Lady Coyotes. Eight to four game, three minutes, 19 seconds left. Looks like Gracie down there tying her shoe. And Ooh, Raylan Rikers Denning here. to bring the ball in. Pass to Kingsley. And shot by Kingsley, does not go in. And rebounded by Leah Musser who puts it in. Woo! Eight to six. I was paying too much attention on who's coming in the door. There are like a bunch of people coming in right now. And a blocked layup by Shalina Kingsley. The ball goes straight into Aaliyah Musser's hands. By the way, there during this halftime, there's a scrimmage going on of the first and second graders. That's right, the little green machines. So should we broadcast it? Yes. Yeah, we'll get, we're going to broadcast it. You guys are going to be famous. <laughs> And it should pass it into Kingsley. He puts it up, doesn't get it in. Puts it. Come on, Kingsley. Ooh! Kingsley. That's Kingsley a good getting her own rebound twice. Excellent job. Three we times. We should from now on just call her Kingsley. <laughs> That's her new nickname. And it is a tied game, eight to eight, with two minutes and fifteen seconds left in the quarter. And jump ball by Leah Musser grabbing the ball. It should stay. Coyote, er, coyotes ball here. Coyotes. It's so USD ruined me from any team named Coyote because I don't know how to pronounce it now. <laughs> the Lady Coyotes. Why are they the Coyotes? I don't know. I don't know. That's like messed up. 11 seconds on the shot clock. Three point shot. Does not go in, but it does hit the rim and it is out of bounds. And it is Cologne down. ball with two minutes left in this quarter. I think I said earlier this half. It's this quarter. Yeah, we're not there yet. And pass into Gracie Rohde. Gets smothered immediately by defense. Leah passes back to Gracie. Gracie to Aaliyah. Aaliyah. Come on, Aaliyah. To Shalina. Pass to Shalina Kingsley. Come on. To Gracie. Oh, come on, guys. Shot, shot by Aaliyah. Oh, it goes wide. And rebounded by the Lady Coyotes. Bring it quickly down the court again. And an open shot. Misses and rebounded. Out of bounds. Lady Coyote ball. Number two to inbound the ball for the Lady Passes Coyotes. It to whatever number. Number three. 13. Number one. one the number 11. 11. Underneath number the basket. But she's got nowhere to go. And Ooh. the ball's out of bounds on Lady Coyotes. A missed pass. Knocked out by Lady Coyotes. It's a minute 16 seconds left. Come on, girls. I know this sounds dirty. Like dirty playing. But... If you get into a corner like that, just shove it off their foot. Yeah, you can bounce it off their foot. And then it's out on them, and then you get Come to on, in inbound it. Oh, and a missed pass by Denning through her hands. And Coyotes get it, shoot and, and miss and rebound, and we're under a minute. Coyotes Ooh. ball, 25 seconds. And the shot clock did not reset, so we're at 35 seconds on the shot clock, 55 seconds in the quarter, and it is Lady Coyote's ball. We all just love watching that. What, the shot clock not getting Yes. Started? Man, they were... That was, they that was were some cooking. good play. Yeah, they were. It's ball stolen by Shalina Kingsley. And Emmy Nelson bringing the ball down the court for the Cowgirls. 40 seconds left in this quarter. And double dribble on Emmy Nelson. Personally, I like cooking. Come on, girls. Come on. All I can make is a grilled cheese sandwich, but who cares? <laughs> so, yeah, we will have a little scrimmage game of the first and second graders. And, yes, we get to announce it. It should be pretty good. It'll be a fun game. It should be a lot of fun, yeah. They have to get jerseys, though. Like, it's going to be <laughs> tough to watch. And a layup by the Lady Coyotes goes in. 20 seconds left. It's a 10 to 8 game. Come on, Emmy. Emmy now looking. I'm going to annoy Riker after this. 
Heavy defense by the Lady Coyotes, and the ball is passed away. Five seconds left. Can the Coyotes get another shot off? They do, and it goes, goes short. 10 to 8 game at the end of the first quarter. It is anybody's game. And we will be back after a very short break. It finds us yeah. in South Dakota. This is sportsmanship. School sports, it's not the outcome that matters most, but the way the games are played. This message presented by the South Dakota High School Activities Association and the South Dakota Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. Producers, now's a great time to get your seed meters inspected so you're ready for spring planning. Right now, Grosselberg Implement, your John Deere dealer, with nine locations in South Dakota, Nebraska, and Wyoming, is offering $25 labor per row all month long. Contact one of Grosselberg Implement's service managers and schedule your planter seed meter inspection so it's ready for spring. Grosselberg Implement, where service is the other half of a great product. Go to Grosselberg.com for details. Producers, now's a great time to get you. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services, and fatherhood support. And we are back. And beginning of the second quarter, it is Cologne Cowgirls Ball. We do not have a trivia question, sadly. Which team's gonna win the little big green machine? <laughs> little big green machine. <laughs> little green machine. I think that's what it is, isn't it? Little green machine. And the ball thrown away by the big bright green pleasure machine. By yeah. the cowgirls, and it's oh. Lady Coyotes ball. Ten to eight game here. Lady Coyotes passing the ball around. Ah, oh, looked like she was thinking about a three-point shot there. I have given a foul before in the game. And the oh. shot goes in 12 to 8 for the Lady Lady Coyotes. So you fouled before? I fouled people before, yes. Yeah, oh, it's just playing the game. One time uh, we were playing winner in country conference. And... They were uh, open shot by Gracie doesn't go in. Rebounded by the Cow the Coyotes and knocked out of bounds, but Colon was the last to touch it. Um anyway, they had it on um, like Winner had it on the perimeter. Mm hmm And I was guarding the guy and I like reached in, but instead my whole body pushed <laughs> and I get, I pushed him over. Can't believe anything's called into a foul the bleachers. In he hit the bleachers. I pushed him that hard. No. Oh. Yeah. We it were stripped while going to the layup. It's oh, ball came loose. Lady Coyotes recovered the ball. Eight seconds on the shot clock, and a hook shot missed, and a layup missed, but fouled on the shot. It's number twelve to shoot. For the Lady Coyotes. Riker's sitting right underneath the stairs. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah, he's sitting right underneath the ladder. And the first shot for number 12, Lady Coyotes misses. And it remains a 12-day game. Let's see if we can keep it this way. <coughs> and missed that shot. Rebounded by the Lady Coyotes, though. Oh. Goodness. And out of bounds. Tipped by Cologne. Uh -huh. We get so excited. I was sure that was off a coyote player. Subbing in one Kingsley for the other. Shalina comes back into the game. And knocked out of bounds by Amy Nelson. And we'll try to inbound the ball again. Number 25 for the Lady Coyotes. Pass the ball off of Emmy Nelson's back. Pass there. Shot missed. And now rebounded Emmy gets by it. Emmy. Passes it to Aaliyah. Clever play by the Lady Coyotes player. Passes it. Keisha wasn't Come expecting on, that pass. 
And a foul on Cologne. It is Lady Cowgirl or Lady Coyotes ball. Twelve to eight game. Six minutes left in the half. Yep. Remember, just stick around. You'll see a couple little kids play basketball, which is the demise of humanity. But we'll make it fun. And another foul by Cologne. Dad, we've got to make it fun. We've got oh, to it'll be it fun. fun. I don't think fun. they're going to need us to make it fun. That's going to be fun to watch. Yeah. I'm not sure. I think they have little little hoops. And a long three-point shot missed and knocked off the hands of Ky Ky Lady Coyote. <laughs> We're becoming French now. <laughs> That's not quite French, but... Baguette. <laughs> Baguette. <laughs> Another three-point shot missed. And Cologne just cannot get a rebound. I was going to say it was passed away, but it was tipped away. It passed Out away. of bounds. It I keep saying away. passed away, didn't it? And the Lady Coyotes didn't bound the ball again. Come on, girls. And a shot under the goal misses. And rebounded by Raylan Denning. Brings it down the court. Very aggressive defense by the Lady Coyotes. Stays here. Knocked out of bounds on a Coyote player. Clap, people, clap. Lady Coyotes double and triple teaming Cowgirls. Shot up by Shalina King. Good, 12 to 10. That's what you call a play that went exactly as you wanted it to. Yes, yes. Oh! And Aaliyah, Aaliyah comes after the loose ball. is jump ball. Lady Coyotes get the possession. The Coyotes inbound the ball. Number three with the ball dribbling around three-point perimeter here. Pass to number 13. Pass to 25. Shoots. And it is good. 14 to 10. Uh. Leah must have bringing the ball down for the Cowgirls. Come on, Aaliyah. She puts the ball up, misses, and the Lady Coyotes rebound. We got to start getting more of those rebounds. Okay, maybe they'll ask me to scrimmage with the person <laughs> second graders. Oh, and another jump shot by the Lady Coyotes. 14 to 10. 16 oh, to 10. 16 to 10. Almost threw away the inbound pass. Come on, Aaliyah. And a shot by Aaliyah goes in. 16 to 13. Excellent shot, Aaliyah. Was that a three-pointer? That was a three-pointer. Nice. Yeah, she was a foot behind the line, too. Yeah, I'm blind. Also known as me not paying attention enough. And a jump shot by the Lady Coyotes. Oh, Does not go Shalina in and rebounded rebound. by Selena. We said the same thing. It's so very different. Yes, we did. One of us sounded more professional than the other. Obviously. And a foul. And the Cowgirls will bring the ball in again. Three minutes and 51 seconds left. It's a three-point game. Three minutes, 51 seconds left in the half, I should say. It's the half. Very aggressive play out of the Lady Coyotes. And a shot by Denning going... Backwards. Backwards, yes. And the, oh, said the ball's out on Clome. I don't think I don't think it was. it was. I thought it was out on the Lady Coyotes. We're not the refs. But he's though. right there. I'm up here. See, the thing is, is that whenever these coaches get really mad, I always think, well... See, you're not the refs. You don't see what they see. Yeah, they're right up there. Not to say they don't miss things, but they are right up there. They're part of the game. Yeah, they got a better perspective than I have. But it sure looked out on the Lady Coyotes to me. And a layup for the Lady Coyotes makes it 18-13. to 13. Five. Almost threw away the inbound, inbound pass. And did throw that pass away. 3.22 left on the clock, 18-13. Bit of a sloppy passing game here, I tell you. Mm-hmm. The Lady Coyotes bring the ball down. Do you think they'll call and travels for the little green machine? 
Boy, if they do, nothing's going to happen in that game. No, you can't call travels. No. Unless <laughs> it's a full, like, court travel thing. So there was a foul on number 25 when she was shooting, so she gets two shots here. 18-13 game, Lady Coyotes with free throws. And that is perfect. 19-13. It's shot dead. number two coming up. A shock. And shot number two does not go in, but rebounded by the Lady Coyotes. We have got to get those rebounds. We haven't had the man advantage. Yeah, it, it, I don't know if it's just the way the ball's bouncing off the rims, but you stick the tall players down there, we just can't, we're not getting rebounds. Let's Number take the shortest players down there. And there we got a rebound. Raylan Denning jumping up and grabbing it. Double teamed. Crosses the half court line. Pass to Emmy Nelson. Shoot it, Aaliyah. Shoot it. Come on, girls. Six point game here. Two and a half minutes left in the, in the half. And a foul called. The Eddie Coyotes and Raylan Denning should have some shots here. Them two twenty-four left on the hat, left in the half, I should say. Come on, Raylan. Oh, in and out. I know most of the kids that are doing the little green machine thing. Oh yeah. I don't <laughs> think I know any of them. I might know one or two, but you, you'll know Riot. All right. There we go. 19 to 14, 224 left. Lady Coyotes ball. Get aggressive, Come guys. Come on, girls. Number 3 up with a layup and it goes in. 21 to 14. And a timeout called by the Lady Cow or by the Cowgirls. So we will run some ads. For more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. Calling all honey lovers. Dakota Honey in Winter offers some of the purest honey on the market. South Dakota's diverse wildflower population makes for very light colored sweet honey that comes straight from the hives to their bottles. Shop online at dakotahoneyco.com for pure local honey, flavored spun honey, beeswax candles, and more. Wholesale products are also available at Dakota Honey, and you can find their products on the shelves of various local spots in the area. And here we are. Cowgirls to bring the ball in for us. Denning to Musser. The Denning to Musser trio. The Denning to Musser trio. <laughs> There's two of them. <laughs> it's the De Blade. That's Pokemon stuff. What is wrong with me? Smothering defense again by Jones County. They they're pretty trained. They're fighting over the ball hard. And a blocked pass by Aaliyah Musser goes into Shalina Kingsley's arms. Come on, Aaliyah, come on. Oh, and a stolen pass by Jones County. Foul on Cologne. Not sure who it was, but Jones County be bringing the ball in directly underneath us. There's a 17 or seven point lead. Oh no, they're not. They're gonna get shots. They're gonna get shots. Of water. So number three to shoot some free throws for us. A minute 19 seconds left. It is a 21-14 game. And her first Ooh. shot does not fall in. Bounces off the back of the rim. 21 to 14 still. Let's keep it that way. Not a horse. I'm a knight. And in and out and again. Free throw rebounded by Jones County. Passing the ball around the perimeter. 
Three seconds in the lane for the Lady Coyotes, and it is Cologne Ball. <clears throat> Raylan Denning passes to Emmy Nelson and brings it down for us. One minute left in the half. And thrown away by the Cowgirls, and it is Lady Coyotes ball. 54 seconds left. We got 11. And a foul called. Two shots for number three on the Lady Coyotes. Yeah. I guess I should say two more shots for number three. Two more shots? How many shots have she had? She's had a few. She Somebody. just shot two of them. We got the Kingsley girls down to get a rebound, hopefully. And it's 22 to 14. Made her first shot here. And second shot coming up. And here we go. And we, Cologne gets a rebound. Raylan Kingsley bringing the ball down. Pass knocked out of bounds by the Lady Coyotes. Come on, girls. We need a couple points here. Come on, Denning. Gracie is wide open. Gracie's wide open. Pass to Gracie, and she fouled on the shot. Woo. There we go. Come on, Gracie. We need some. Sh we need some points here. Come on. This is the part in the show where everybody claps and gets the other team annoyed. <laughs> Thirty-eight seconds left. Gracie Rohde with two shots, and her first shot is perfect. Twenty-two fifteen. Gracie's second shot here. Looks beautiful. 22 to 17. Or, yeah, 22 16. 16, my mistake. And this is why I teach English, because I can't keep track of numbers. <laughs> and a foul down the court again. Number three to shoot two more shots for Jones County. And it is 22 to 16. 32 seconds left in this half. And her first shot is good. 23-16. Number three to shoot some more. Oh, wait. I'm losing. 24 to 16. In favor of Jones. And knocked out of bounds by number three. Yeah, in favor of Jones County. 24-16, Lady Coyotes. 30 seconds left in the half. And inbounded to Raylan Kingsley. And a travel called on Kingsley. And the Lady Coyotes will inbound the ball directly beneath us here. And layup blocked by Kingsley. Go, Kingsley. And pass to Shalina. Kingsley gets it over half court line. And it is a foul. Number three foul, Shalina Kingsley. The, Four the Cowgirls will bring the ball in. This is what happens when you play defense aggressively. A lot of fouls going on in this game. Pass in to Kingsley. Dribbles around the perimeter. Ten seconds left. Come on, Kingsley. Denning passes to Keisha Kartak. Passes to Gracie Rohde, and it goes out of bounds. Two seconds left. Coyotes ball. Lady Coyotes ball. Woo. I just want to see a half-court shot. Ah, don't even let him get a shot off. And inbound and, blo and stolen by Keisha Kartak. He shoots and misses oh. the goal. Misses the goal. So we will go to halftime 24 to 16. Don't go anywhere. There's the me. little green machines will be playing during halftime. 
So we'll see you then. Dakota Honey yeah. and Winter, it's the bee's knees. You've spent years dreaming up your business plan, saving every dollar, searching for the right location, and perfecting your product. Auto Owners insures your small business, because it isn't small to you. Only 36 more to go. That's simple human sense. Ask Miller & Associates in Platte, South Dakota, if Auto Owners makes sense for you. You've spent years... Winter Dental, located at 911 Golden Prairie Drive, is proud to provide Winter and the surrounding area with high-quality, high-tech, patient-centered dentistry. Dr. Brad and the entire staff, including hygienists Michaela Smith and Sierra Hansen, are honored to have the opportunity to serve the good people of Winter and the surrounding area with gentle, compassionate, and high-quality dental services. For information on all the services they can provide you or to make an appointment, please call 605-842-7... And we are getting ready. Should we restart the scoreboard for a little bit? Go for it. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to leave it as the Coyotes versus the Cowgirls for the like score thing. Who's the Coyotes? One team. And here they come. All right, we got the Cowboys versus the Cowgirls here. So, let me make these this green. There you go. All right, we've got the scoreboard set up. We've got the Cowboys versus the Cowgirls, except it's white and green versus green and white, which is, I think, what they have down there. So, here we go. We've got the starting lineups here. We're about to have tip-off. Here we are. Eli Watson here to take the tip for the green team. And here it is, and team, team white, team white looking, still looking, coming down the court, he's looking really scary, Bentley, I, for, I don't know his last name, oh he's getting double teamed, oh what a hard defense here by Green, and now white still has it, still has control, and passes it on to a green defender. And now Green's coming down as fast as he can. And they lose the ball. And White picks it up. And now they're going. This is the most exciting game we've seen. <laughs> Look at that. She's going. Full force, too. Stolen by Green. And look at that. Right at the smack. Just perfect dribbling there. Passes it to Carson. And off Carson's leg. Oh, there's a steal. Look at that. And Carson. He, he stole it back. Steals it back. And now they have to go to that, to, to the other hoop. And looks like <laughs> it is white ball. Somebody got fouled. Oh, no. <laughs> it is four on four. This is tough. And there she takes a couple steps without dribbling the ball, but that's okay. This is little green machine. And look at Mason. Looking. Takes Almost the first shot of the it. game. And Abe Croston comes out of nowhere. Now looking. She scores! <laughs> Team Green gets a couple shot or a couple points. Oh, wait. Was that? That had to be white. That, that was, was white. white. Oh, oh long misses. shot. Misses. And out of bounds. White now leading two to nothing. Yes, we're keeping score. <laughs> Looking. White passes. Shot. Oh, so close. And now Eli Watson with the rebound. He's flying down the court. Shoot it, Eli. Okay. 
There's a little time out. And our cheerleaders featuring a couple of new cheerleaders are going to give us a halftime cheer. Oh, we've got some new cheerleaders. They're doing the CHS trick. Looks like the teams are getting coached there. Look at that. that it's so cool. Sitting on the benches getting yep. <laughs> getting a talking to. There is our principal Sam West and junior Aspen McKenzie joining the cheerleaders Lily Nelson and Tiana Larson for the and cheer. Here we are. We're about to start another little bit. Looks like they have two minute intervals. Two minute quarters here. Yeah. Eli Watzel to bring the ball in. Other than Eli, though, I know I've seen Riot, but I can't pick him out which one he is. He's number four. He's number four. For Team Green. And here comes Jasper. And now he takes it. He's looking. They switched hoops. He's now looking. He passes over to Eli, who on, takes Eli. the shot and almost scores on the big hoop. <laughs> and here comes Abe Croston for Team White. Couple double dribbles there, but it's okay. And now number five for Team White shoots, misses, and Abe crossed in there. Takes the, the rebound. rebound Look at that. Out of bounds, but it's fine. Eli Watson takes the steal, and now Eli is going. He's going full force, full force. Scary Watson, and he shoots a three pointer and misses. <laughs> Man, that was close. I think they had to call that one out of bounds. Yeah. <laughs> now Team White coming. Oh, he, he kind of rolls up his, his his arm, but that's okay. And now he's coming. Oh. Passes the ball. Did you see that? Oh, it's look no. at him. And he shoots, misses, and Team White gets it off a rebound. Shoot, miss. I've got instant replay ready. Shoot, score! Oh, that shot. We've got it. We got to see that again. Look at that. He just comes over here. He's looking. He shoots. He misses. Then they get it back. And then they shoot and score. Like, that's just pure perfect. They were watching Jones County get all those rebounds. Hey, Dad, is it four to nothing white? Yeah. Four to nothing, Team White. Now they have the steal. Little travel there. Oh, and blocked shot by Eli Watzel. Stripped the kid. Stuffs him. 17, 16 seconds left. Come on, Eli. Eli Watzel shoots, misses. That would have been worth three points. That's That's got to be. And now they've got to go. He kind of got a little scared. Excellent that play it? by the little green machines. Woo! Team White comes out victory, victorious. And look at this. The Jones County Varsity yeah. boys are here to greet them as well as they walk out of the, out of the uh, gym. Man, that was the most exciting game, don't you there think? There you go. That's got to be, that's got to feel good for those kids. Both teams coming out. <laughs> yeah. Giving them high fives as they walk out of the out of the gym. So we will proceed in a few minutes. And so we will return to the varsity game here in what looks like about two minutes and 45 seconds. 93. Or go to winterdentalclinic.com. Elevate Agronomics is now added to Cal Basgro to our seed lineup. 
Along with brands like LG Seeds, Sakota, and Westbred, we can find the best hybrid to fit your farm. When it comes to your chemicals, we can finance many of your chemical needs for 1.9% while still offering full cash discounts. Elevate is also your precision planting dealer with a meter stand and an expert on staff to help get your row units and planting equipment ready for this upcoming season. Give us a call or check us out at elevateagronomics.com. Elevate Agronomics, reach new heights. Your first car. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it and it took care of you, your friends, and maybe that someone special. And through it all, we were there working with you, for you, to make sure it was a smooth ride. Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. Contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent today. Your grandmother's fine china, those trendy sneakers, your collection of hand-carved duck decoys. Auto Owners protects your home. Because, well, somebody should. That's simple human sense. Ask Miller & Associates in Platte, South Dakota, if Auto Owners make sense for you. Oh, now you do your job. Core Cares helps individuals stay at home by offering caregiving, nursing, and medical alert systems in over 55 communities in South Dakota. Specializing in tasks like bathing, meal prep, and medication setups, our well-trained staff delivers exceptional care. We invest in our team through customized training and comprehensive benefits. To learn more about job opportunities or services, visit our website at corecares.com. Core Cares, proudly serving our community. Core Cares helps Schrader Electric and Control, located in Winter, is available for all your electrical service needs. With close to 40 years of experience, Brian and his crew can take care of all your electrical projects, residential or commercial. Schrader Electric works with new construction, remodels, and new additions. Call Brian at 605-840-8913 to get a quote. And here we are. It is third quarter, not the second quarter. <laughs> Returning from the half, looks like it is going to be Ky er, uh, Clone Cowgirls ball. That was the most exciting game we've had here. <laughs> Long time. Oh, inbound pass stolen by the Lady Coyotes. And a layup goes in. It is 26 to 16. Leah Muster to bring the ball down for the, co the Cowgirls. And pass to Emmy Nelson. A lot of falling. Yeah, a lot of falling. A lot of attempts to steal the ball there. And it comes loose. Recovered by Emmy Nelson. And it is jump ball. And it will be Lady Coyote's ball. And they bring the ball in. Number three with the ball. Passes number four down here. Passed around the perimeter here. Oh, she looked like she was going to try a three-pointer there for a second. I yeah, would. Little jump shot there, missed and rebounded by Raylan Kingsley. Passes the ball to Aaliyah Musser, brings it down the court. 26-16 game. Raylan Denning with the ball now. Juan Denning. Pass to Kingsley, pass to Nelson, pass back to Musser. Ten seconds on the shot clock. And Denning with a shot that just doesn't go in. Out of bounds, and it remains cowgirl ball. Woo! Pass into Emmy Nelson, back to Raylan Kingsley. Put Woo! What a layup, beautiful play, 26 to 18. Number three dribbles under the net and shoot, shoot, tries to shoot a layup, doesn't quite get it. Emmy Nelson with the rebound. And Aaliyah Musser brings the ball down the court. 
And jump shot by Leah Musser just doesn't go in. Rebounded by Shalina Kingsley. And that shot doesn't go in either. Jones County comes across the half court line. Passing the ball around. Oh, she looked like she was going to go for yeah. it too. And a missed shot there. Rebounded by Jones County. I bet it's in their plans. <laughs> what, what plans would those be? Oh, there's Plays. a foul on the shot, it looks like. Two shots for, I can't see her number there. So number 25. 25. And a beautiful shot there, 27 to 18. Nothing but net. So we've got 542 left on the clock, 27 to 18. Woo. And the second shot is good as well, 28 to 18. It's 10 point game again. Pass in to Gracie Rohde, who immediately gets double teamed. Pass back to Shalina Kingsley. Gets it across the half court line. And her pass is stolen by number three. Comes down the court. And the ball will stay here for the Lady Coyotes. 5.22 left in the quarter. Oh, and a pass just under the basket. Knocked out of bounds by the Lady Coyotes on the attempted rebound. And it is cowgirl ball. So what do you think, Bear? Uh, nothing much. <laughs> Inbound pass to Rayla oh. Kingsley and Gracie Rohde, who brings it down the court. And a foul on the Lady Coyotes here. The Cowgirls will bring the ball back in. And lost control of the ball. Annika Musser, layup by number three, goes in. 30 to 18. That was number four. Oh, number four, my mistake. Pass in to Annika Musser here. A stolen by number three. And easy two points. 32 to 18. Come on, Shalina. Brings the ball down the court. And a foul there. I'm not sure who it's on. Foul on number four it was. The Cowgirls will bring the ball in. And a timeout by the Lady Coyotes. And we will be back in just a moment. Schedule your next electrical service. Schrader Electric and Control is a proud sponsor of the schools on the Live Ticket Network. Do you have a pest problem? Got bats, ants, termites? Family owned and operated, Olson's Pest Technicians have had over 50 years experience taking care of pest problems in places across South Dakota, Nebraska, and Iowa. Utilizing brilliant methods such as Centricon bait stations for termites and Vicane treatment for bed bugs, there's no pest too tough for Olson's Pest Technicians. If you have pest problems, call 800 Kill Bugs. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve it. And here we are. Raylan Denning to inbound the ball for the Cowgirls. Pass to Kingsley. And it looked like she was out of bounds. And the Lady Coyotes will get the ball. Four minutes, 40 seconds left. If you're ever bored, there's, you know, videos. You probably know how to do this, but in case you don't, there's uh, videos on YouTube that are tell you how to drink water, <laughs> how to walk. And a travel called on the Lady Coyotes. Yeah, we were talking about some of the silliness of those videos just a second ago. Like before the internet, we couldn't drink water. 
people in the 1700s, yes, they were flying. <laughs> and some loose ball control here by the Cowgirls. It looks like it went out of bounds on the coyote, Lady Coyotes, and it will be cowgirl ball again. Four minutes, 13 seconds. I wonder if there's a video on how to use a paper clip. Oh, I'm sure there is. <laughs> <laughs> how to put on a shirt, kids. The Lady Coyotes steal the ball from the cowgirls and bring it back down to their end of the court. Oh, a foul on the cowgirls. And number two will get a couple shots here. Boom, chicka boom. <laughs> I said boom, chicka boom. Let's see what her first shot does here. It is going in perfectly. 33 to 18. Second shot is good as well. 34-18. And it is Cowgirls ball. Come on, girls. Pass into Aaliyah Musser. Gets it across the half court. Pass to Denning and fouled on the shot. And Raylan Denning, number 12, with a couple shots here. Some little kid below us going nuts down there. <laughs> That's pretty much what he sounded like. And that first shot bounces off the rim, 34 to 18 still. Someone shouldn't have fed him peanut M&Ms. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> This is what happens when you give them candy and cokes at a basketball game? 3:47 left in this quarter. Raylan <coughs> Denning with her second shot, and it is good. 34-19. The Lady Coyotes bring the ball back down the court again, passing the ball around. Oh, almost lost control of the ball there. And pass to number two down in the corner here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There she goes. Travel on the Lady Coyotes. And the Cowgirls will try to inbound the ball here. Four defenders on two Coyote or two Cowgirls. They get the ball to Alita Musser. Oh, come on, Denning. Come on, get across, get across. And Kingsley brings the ball across half court. Pass to Shalina Kingsley goes wild and it's recovered by the, cow, uh, the Coyotes, rather. And good moves there by number two. Get the shot in, 36-19. She has moves. Leah Musser moves down the court as well and puts up a layup that misses. Foul on number 25 from behind. You have hair. <laughs> you have hair. You're tough. And the Cowgirls will bring the ball back in. Use your arms. <laughs> Raylan Denning to inbound the ball here. Come Very on. Quiet. Pass to Leah Musser under the basket, and she makes it 36-21. The Lady Coyotes quickly bring the ball back down to their end of the court. They are a fast-moving team. And pass to... Oh, it looked like she was going to shoot a three-pointer. I would have. You would have. Your coach would have made you do 10 push-ups for doing it, too. You better make it count. <laughs> I'm not. If I was a high school girl in that position, <laughs> I would shoot a three-pointer. There's freedom in this country. <laughs> I wonder if he's going to make you do, a, do the push-ups if you make the three-pointer. I wonder. Probably just for giving him a heart attack. 
And shot by number 25 misses and rebounded by Ray Raylan Kingsley who passes to Raylan Denning. There are actually a lot of three-pointer shot. Oh. Double teamed heavily by Jones County there. She was the one who... She falls down, <laughs> cold traveling. <laughs> All right, bud. Sorry. <laughs> Number three brings the ball down for Jones County. Number 13 to three. To 13 to three. To one. To... 12, Back to 25, 25, and a shot does not go in. Rebounded by Raylan Kingsley. Raylan pass to, to Raylan. Denning. Almost missed the pass there. I still hear little kids down there. And foul on number three for blocking. And Gracie Rohde will get a couple of free throws. Let's see if she can make these two the way she did her previous two. I don't know. I don't know, man. Gracie Rohde shoots. In. All right. There, there, there. <laughs> and they sub in a couple players. And I know Gracie to have kid her. <laughs> Gracie to have her second shot here. And it does not go in. Rebounded by Jones County. And the pass is thrown away. And still they got it. I have never seen a team be able to get rebounds and save, save balls going out of bounds like these girls here. 38 to 22. And Jones County ends up with the ball. Lady Coyotes passing back and forth. I have never seen a team get rebounds like this. Again rebounded by Jones County. And a shot rebounded by Jones County again. Finally, the Cowgirls get their hands on it. We're under a minute left in this quarter. And stays Cowgirls ball knocked out of bounds by number 13. 38 to 22 with 46 seconds left in this quarter. Oh, I see one of those bands you're talking about. Yeah. It just looks like you cut off your circulation. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is for, bud. You see it on one? I see it on number one there for the Lady Coyotes, yeah. It just looks painful. Well, after the game, I'll let you run over there and ask her why to do that. No. Oh. Leah Musser. To look cute. What's that? To look cute. Yeah. I don't know. I like would a... say it has some sort of function. I just don't know what it is. It's in case their hair band falls out. I don't no, know. No, no, no. <laughs> I have no idea what it is. I haven't seen anyone else wear one of those. Uh, Saturday I saw, uh, that, uh, guy for, uh, the... For Bennett County? Yeah, the Christian, the Christian guy. Another basket by Jones County, 40 to 22. Leah Musser bringing the ball down, 13 seconds. Passed oh. Monica Musser. Almost Off missed it. Face. Oh, and the ball stolen. And I think the foul was on Aaliyah. Yep. Yep, foul on Aaliyah Musser, and it will be Lady Coyote's ball. So you saw a guy wearing it Saturday night? Yeah. yeah. Both I of hadn't, them. I hadn't seen Both anything. legs had one. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah, I see another girl on the bench with one, too. Yeah. Yeah, there's got to be some purpose to him. And made the three-pointer number one. What a shot. Good grief. 43 to 22. Can you replay that? Um, might be a little too late. Yeah, it's too late. Too late? Yeah. Oh. And here we were talking about bands on knees.
and we will see you after a break. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that the people may live. Meyer Ag is your Bex Hybrids seed dealer located in Winter, South Dakota. Meyer Ag is a family-owned company specializing in seed consulting and zone-based variable rate that services South Central South Dakota. Contact Trace Meyer at 605-842-5458 to learn more about Bex Hybrids and see how Meyer Ag can make every acre count for you. Meyer Ag in Winter, South Dakota is a proud supporter of all youth athletics and and here we are back again. It is the fourth quarter, 43-22 to 22 in favor of the Lady Coyotes, and they have just brought the ball in. And a blocked shot by Raylan Kingsley, and the ball is thrown away by the Lady Coyotes. It is cowgirl ball. Down here in the corner, kind of tough to get the camera showing on there. And Emmy Nelson to bring the ball down for the Cowgirls. And the ball is stripped by the Lady Coyotes, results in a jump ball. And Raylan Denning's glasses fall onto the floor. And it is cowgirl ball still. And Denning will inbound the ball. And the inbound pass is stolen by the Coyotes and stolen back by the cowgirls. And it is still loose and the Lady Coyotes recover the ball. And like I said, it's been some sloppy passing tonight. Foul there on Cologne. And Lady Coyotes will inbound the ball. And Abraham is back to join us. I don't think we even said our names tonight. I'm Wes Yeary, the English teacher at the high school. And I'm Abraham, fifth grader at Cologne. Abraham's my 11-year-old son, and we just had another basket made by the Lady Coyotes, it is 45 to 22. Not the way we wanted this game to go. And the ball is stolen by the Lady Coyotes again. And the layup is misses and, re and rebounded by Keisha Kartak. And Raylan Kingsley brings the ball over the half court line for the Cowgirls. And a shot by Kingsley. <laughs> Beautiful swish there, 45 to 24. Nothing but net. Nothing but net. We love that saying, especially when it's for us. Yeah. And the Lady Coyotes passing the ball around. And foul on number five, Gracie. Cowgirls, Gracie Rohde. And the Lady Coyotes will bring the ball in. And a sub in. Shalina Kingsley for her sister Raylan. Shalina is the sole senior on this Cowgirls team. She's the only one. Yeah. Six minutes, ten seconds left in this game. And the Lady Coyotes ready to inbound the ball. Pass around, almost stolen there by Emmy Nelson. And a missed pass there, stolen by, Ray, by uh, Sh Shalina Kingsley. The cowgirls dribbling around down here. And as soon as they start Heading towards the basket, they get double and triple teamed. Now foul on 
And I'm not sure which one it was on. Foul on Lady Coyotes. And Denning inbounds the ball to Emmy Nelson, 34. And the ball is knocked out of bounds by number two. Gives Emmy a little bit of a shove after that one. I'm getting veiny hands like you. <laughs> I'm admiring my veins. Denning to inbound the ball again. Pass to Gracie Rohde and back to Denning. As soon as she heads in. Oh, and the ball bounces off Emmy Nelson's hands. It's okay, Emmy. Happens to the best of us. <laughs> Number two to inbound the ball for the Lady Coyotes. I mean, it does. It does happen to the best of us. Michael Jordan does that. If he still plays. And a three-point shot misses and rebounded by Shalina Kingsley. Who passes to Gracie Rohde and the ball is stolen quickly by number three. Charges to the basket. Puts a layup up, misses, and Emmy Nelson rebounds. And a foul on number 10 with the Lady Coyotes. Shalina Kingsley to inbound the ball. Five minutes left in the game. 45 to 24 score. Yep. We might be related, bud. Maybe. And there's another foul called on the Lady Coyotes. I'm not sure which player. And substitute coming in, number one for number ten. And the inbound pass is stolen by number three. That's a Joseph Lapworth move right there. Yeah. I tell you what, if you're going to play, you better give it all. And that's just what these Lady Coyotes are doing. They are, they are not letting up one bit. And the first shot, by number three goes in. It's a 46-24 game now. And shot number two on its way. And it is good as well. 47-24. And a pass in to Gracie Rohde. Who brings it across the half-court line here? And a foul on the shot. Gracie gets a couple shots here. Number five, five Gracie. She's three think. for four today. Yeah, that's not, not too bad. 75%. Of course, if I were playing. <laughs> you wouldn't have done anything. <laughs> I wouldn't have made any of them. <laughs> I'd be 0 for 4, I'm pretty sure. Shot by Gracie. Oh, it's the rim. Doesn't quite go in. That's all right. 47-24. Four and a half minutes left in the in the game here. Come on, Gracie. That's a perfect shot. 47 25. Long pass down the court and bounces off the leg of Shalina Kingsley. And out of bounds. And it is Lady Coyote's ball. Number 25 bounces it off Shalina's back. Takes it herself. Stop bouncing off people's <laughs> backs. It's and another three-pointer by number one. He made the long one earlier. This one bounces off the back of the rim. Rebounded by Raylan Kingsley. He passes the Emmy Nelson. And a foul on number 11 for the Lady Coyotes. And we've got a couple shots here for the Cowgirls. Four minutes left in this game. Come on, Emmy. Emmy's first shot is no good. Bounces on the rim a couple times. It does not go in. Yeah. 
And shot number two for Emmy Nelson. Bounces off the back of the rim and rebounded by Jones County. Number one brings the ball down the court here. Long pass across the court. And thrown away. That's hard to believe. It's only, what, the second time this game they've thrown the ball away, I think. The Cowgirls bring the ball down the court. There she is, Emmy. Looking. And, and passes it over. to Jones County. Sloppy passing again. Layup by Jones County, 49-25. <sighs> what? The passing. It is just sloppy. The, just the ball control right there. Stuff like that. Foul on blue. Okay, so they knocked it off. I thought Gracie just dribbled it off her foot. I thought, good grief. You gotta be kidding. Don't worry, I thought the same thing. Yeah, I didn't I didn't see um, Jones County reaching in for it or anything. Bounces off the rim. One thing I tell you, we have got to tighten up the passing. Seriously. Mm-hmm. How where... many turnovers have there been? Too many. Come on, Gracie. Oh, and she missed both. Rebounded by Kingsley. Puts it up and misses. Rebounded again and misses. And Jones County. Oh, how are they so fast? That ball should have gone out. And instead, Jones County player stops it. Ball bounces off Shalina's hands. And a travel by Raylan Kingsley. Kingsley. Three minutes left. Now, I tell you what, the Lady Coyotes are fast, and they are good with throwing the ball and, and not throwing it away, and they are extremely aggressive, and, I mean, it makes a real difference. Almost three-pointer there, rebounded by Kingsley. I mean, they are good on those rebounds, man. Shot put up by Gracie Rohde, misses. Inning out of bounds. Two and a half minutes left. 49-25. And inbounds pass. And running to the goal or the to the goal. basket, I should say. It's not hockey. <laughs> I mean, hockey brain, too, I guess. Pass under the basket to number two. Puts up an easy layup. And it's a 51-25 game with two minutes left. I just want baseball to start, though. Yeah, I can't wait for baseball. That's our main sport. Shot by Raylan Kings. Almost. And, oh, foul there. I was going to say, that's going to have to be a travel if it's not a foul because she ran about four steps there without dribbling it. Was it a travel? No, it's called foul called on Clome. And it looks like we got some subs coming in. And the inbound the ball here. Poke. <laughs> and a three-point shot. Oh, it did not go. Rebounded by Raylan Denning. Yeah, kind of caught by Raylan Denning. She caught it. Yeah, caught it. And Kingsley with the rebound and missed shot. And it stays Cologne Cowgirl ball as it goes out of bounds off number two. Pass into Kingsley, and it is stolen. Hey! And a little bit of mis mishandling of the ball there. But they recovered, and that is what they do really well. 
Number 25 to number two out here. Number 15, shot, three point shot. Beautiful made, 54 to 25. With under a minute left in this game, what a shot. What can you say, kid? Ow. Ow. <laughs> and jump shot there, missed for Cologne, rebounded by Jones County. Unleash the Kraken! <laughs> Unleash the Kraken. Time out called by the Lady Coyotes with 32.9 seconds left. Unleash the Kraken. One of the more aggressive teams. You know, Bennett County was really aggressive like this, and these girls are too. They are just fast, and they know what they're doing. I think the Seattle Kraken are playing somewhere else today. Oh, yeah? Not Cologne? No. <laughs> the goaltender sits on the goal, and even if we get called for six men on the ice or, or court, <laughs> doesn't matter if swat it down. <laughs> And the ball is down on the ground being hugged. I love being hugged. By <laughs> Raylan Denning, and the ball will stay with the Coyotes. 22 seconds left. Woo! And she didn't cross the line before she caught the ball, so she was considered out of bounds. Amy Nelson bringing it down for us. 15 seconds left in the game. And absolutely no let up from Jones County. They are playing as hard as they did the first 10 seconds. And five seconds left. Three, two, and three one. And it does And that is the end of the game. 54 to 25. Congratulations to the varsity, the Jones County Lady Coyotes varsity team for winning tonight. That was a very tough game, very aggressive play, high speed, high energy team, and they deserved the win. They played a really clean game. So stick around. We've got the varsity boys of the uh, Jones County Coyotes against the Cologne Cowboys here. Uh, I'm not sure how long it's going to be. Uh, last time I saw the clock set for 10 minutes, and it was 30 minutes or so. Uh, this time the clock is set for 15 minutes. I have no idea how long it's going to be. Probably closer to 30, but until then, stick around. We'll see you then, and uh, we're out for a few minutes. Activities. We connect people. Have been for 100 years or so. How we get that done? Well, that won't always be the same. But why we connect people? Not in a million years is that ever gonna change. We didn't build the communities that made South Dakota, no. We just brought them together. Being a part of a community means sharing the history and future of the people all around you. For 115 years, First Fidelity Bank has been doing just that, helping you get the most out of life by providing the services and tools you need, the conveniences and technology you want, and the friendly faces you expect. So you get everything you need right here in the place you call home, now and for many years to come. First Fidelity Bank. Being a part of a community. We hope you are all enjoying the student productions of your school. Tonight's event and every event produced by your school during the school year are created, filmed, and produced by the students you love to follow and support. Become a booster of your school's live event coverage by becoming a sponsor. It's a great way to show your support of the athletes and students in your community. As a sponsor, you'll get great visibility for your business, organization, or family by supporting the live productions of your school. 
Wow, Bill, you're walking so much better. What did you do? Well, I got so tired of the pain and nearly fell. And one of my friends recommended physical therapy at Winter Physical Therapy. And you know what? My back also stopped hurting. Huh. So how did you get started? My doctor wrote me a referral, but that's not always needed. Turns out you always have a choice where you want to go. So why did you choose Winter Physical Therapy? I love to support our locally owned small businesses. And quite frankly, they give great personalized care. Winter Physical Therapy. Exceptional care. The right nutrition, animal health, and record management is key to having a profitable cattle program. That's why you want to work with the people at FarmCo, who will take the time to learn your operation and help you grow your business. We are your full-service agriculture provider of feed, seed, animal health, farm, and ranching equipment built on terrific service. Get to know FarmCo locally owned and serving you in Chamberlain, Platte, Winter, and east of Kimball at the Paragon. Visit us online at FarmCoSD.com. FarmCo, Farm feeding, feeding your, your future. future. Early seed season is here. Litaw Seed carries Hefty brand corn and beans for their genetics, technology, and treatments. Hefty's corn has been very drought tolerant and an excellent yielding. We also have Enlist and Extendiflex soybeans for your choice in herbicide. With Dynagro, we're at the top of the South Dakota field trials for their sunflowers and milo. And with Millbarn, we're the leader in grass, cover crop, and forages. Call 605-840-4591 for Litaw Seed, your source for corn to cover crops, soybeans to sunflowers, and all forages. That's 605-840-4591. Early the innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends. How to fit in. How to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 57,000 participants here in South Dakota who take part in high school sports or activities. No job is too big or small for the gang at h and Electric in winter. Whether it's a simple task around the house, remodel, new addition, or new construction, we provide residential, commercial, and industrial heating, cooling, or electrical work in winter and the surrounding area. We handle it all. Call 605-842-1117 for service or more information on your next project, big or small. h and Electric is your authorized dealer for train heating systems, too. Good luck in today's event. h and Electric is a proud supporter of all area student athletes and activities on Live Ticket TV. No job is too. Grossenberg has cut prices on sweeps so you can easily cut through weeds next season. Save 15% on select sweeps when buying 50 or more. Plus, you can save on attaching hardware adapters and springs. So make a clean sweep by saving 15% on select John Deere sweeps at Grossenberg. Stop by one of our nine locations or visit Grossenberg.com. Offer ends 229.24. Some restrictions apply. See dealer for eligible parts list and full offer details. Just as you aim to reach new heights on the field or court, Elevate Agronomics is here to help you do the same on your farm. Putting together a solid plan for each customer is the goal at Elevate, so you can win all season long. With a full lineup of field seeds, including corn, soybeans, alfalfa, sorghum, forage, cover crops, wildlife habitat, and more, along with a full line of chemicals and plant health products, Elevate is ready to put your plans into action. Check us out at elevateagronomics.com or stop by the office in winter today. Elevate Agronomics, reach new heights. Your local cooperative has a new name. CHS Northern Plains and CHS Midwest Cooperative have joined together to better serve you under the new name CHS River Plains. You gain more options and more value with access to global markets and a powerful supply chain. And you can do more every day using inputs delivered by a team who knows what you need, when you need it. Visit us online at chsriverplains.com or stop in today and let us help you own every day. Your first car. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it and it took care of you, your friends, and maybe that someone special. And through it all, we were there working with you, for you, to make sure it was a smooth ride. Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. Contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent today. Shop local with Burke and Gregory Building Centers, your hometown hardware stores, specializing in everything from finding the right drill bit to building your dream home. 
The crew at Burke and Gregory Building Centers take pride in customer service and are always available to help with any project, big or small. They offer top-of-the-line flooring and cabinetry, a large inventory of rental items, quality Pittsburgh paint, and so much more. Follow them on Facebook and shop online anytime at bgbuildingcenter.com. At American Family Insurance, we help protect what you've achieved so you can fearlessly go after your dreams. For auto, home, business, and life, contact us today. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. American Family Insurance, Life Mutual Standard of Ohio and Wisconsin Company, 6000 American Parkway, Madison, Wisconsin, 53783. Agrimax and West River Ag have been in the winter area for a combined total of nine years. We offer top-of-the-line services and inputs such as chemical, seed, fertilizer application, spraying, and agronomy services with a certified crop advisor on staff. We are a full-service business that is locally owned and operated. We look forward to continuing service to the ag community and cannot wait to help you with all your agricultural needs. Agrimax, shaping the future of ag. This is what matters. This is beyond X's and O's. This is the difference mutual respect makes. This is what character looks like. This is what defines us in South Dakota. This is sportsmanship. School sports, it's not the outcome that matters most, but the way the games are played. This message presented by the South Dakota High School Activities Association and the South Dakota Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. Producers, now's a great time to get your seed meters inspected so you're ready for spring planting. Right now, Grosselberg Implement, your John Deere dealer, with nine locations in South Dakota, Nebraska, and Wyoming, is offering $25 labor per row all month long. Contact one of Grosselberg Implement's service managers and schedule your planter seed meter inspection so it's ready for spring. Grosselberg Implement, where service is the other half of a great product. Go to Grosselberg.com for details. Producers, now's a great time to get you... Whether you're pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start so that the people may live. Calling all honey lovers. Dakota Honey in Winter offers some of the purest honey on the market. South Dakota's diverse wildflower population makes for very light colored sweet honey that comes straight from the hives to their bottles. Shop online at dakotahoneyco.com for pure local honey, flavored spun honey, beeswax candles, and more. Wholesale products are also available at Dakota Honey, and you can find their products on the shelves of various local spots in the area. Dakota Honey in Winter, it's the bee's knees. You've spent years dreaming up your business plan, saving every dollar, searching for the right location, and perfecting your product. Auto Owners insures your small business, because it isn't small to you. Only 36 more to go. That's simple human sense. Ask Miller and Associates in Platt, South Dakota, if auto owners make sense for you. You've spent years... Winter Dental, located at 911 Golden Prairie Drive, is proud to provide Winter and the surrounding area with high-quality, high-tech, patient-centered dentistry. Dr. Brad and the entire staff, including hygienists Michaela Smith and Sierra Hansen, are honored to have the opportunity to serve the good people of Winter and the surrounding area with gentle, compassionate, and high-quality dental services. For information on all the services they can provide you or to make an appointment, please call 605-842-1793 or go to winterdentalclinic.com. Elevate Agronomics is now added to Cal Basgro to our seed lineup. 
Along with brands like LG Seeds, Sakota, and Westbred, we can find the best hybrid to fit your farm. When it comes to your chemicals, we can finance many of your chemical needs for 1.9% while still offering full cash discounts. Elevate is also your precision planting dealer with a meter stand and an expert on staff to help get your row units and planting equipment ready for this upcoming season. Give us a call or check us out at elevateagronomics.com. Elevate Agronomics, reach new heights. Your first car. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it and it took care of you, your friends, and maybe that someone special. And through it all, we were there working with you, for you, to make sure it was a smooth ride. Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. Contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent today. Your grandmother's fine china, those trendy sneakers, your collection of hand-carved duck decoys. Auto Owners protects your home. Because, well, somebody should. That's simple human sense. Ask Miller & Associates in Platte, South Dakota, if Auto Owners make sense for you. Oh, now you do your job. Core Cares helps individuals stay at home by offering caregiving, nursing, and medical alert systems in over 55 communities in South Dakota. Specializing in tasks like bathing, meal prep, and medication setups, our well-trained staff delivers exceptional care. We invest in our team through customized training and comprehensive benefits. To learn more about job opportunities or services, visit our website at corecares.com. Core Cares, proudly serving our community. Core Cares helps. Schrader Electric and Control, located in Winter, is available for all your electrical service needs. With close to 40 years of experience, Brian and his crew can take care of all your electrical projects, residential or commercial. Schrader Electric works with new construction, remodels, and new additions. Call Brian at 605-840-8913 to get a quote or schedule your next electrical service. Schrader Electric and Control is a proud sponsor of the school's on the Live Ticket Network. Do you have a pest problem? Got bats, ants, termites? Family owned and operated, Olson's Pest Technicians have had over 50 years experience taking care of pest problems in places across South Dakota, Nebraska, and Iowa. Utilizing brilliant methods such as Centricon bait stations for termites and Vicane treatment for bed bugs, there's no pest too tough for Olson's Pest Technicians. If you have pest problems, call 800-KILL-BUGS. Whether you are pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, care coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Grace.
and after all that, we are back. And this is the final game for the night. The varsity boys from Jones County and Cologne. And we are ready for the tip-off. Jonah Musser here take, takes it for Cologne. And Coyotes get the first tip-off win of the night. Oh, jump, jump shot by number 23, 23 rebounded by, by Jackie Anderson, Anderson for Cologne. Even though it's compression sleeves. Yeah. yeah. Pass, Pass out to Jordan Mosser. Boy, he looked like he was going to shoot. He too. wanted to. Really he did. <laughs> and a three point <laughs> shot by Joseph Lapper bounces off the back of the rim, rebounded, rebounded by Jones County. County. And, and a layup by, by number 15, 15 there. Oh, and the ball is kicked out of bounds. Jones, Jones County. County. Intercepted pass that just didn't quite work. No. Got a hand on it, but didn't get the didn't get a grip on it. Cash aiming Denbell on the ball. Bring it down a little bit. Pass to Joseph Lapreth over Joseph's head. And out of bounds. This is Jones County ball. That happens. Right underneath us. That is tough to get with the camera. <laughs> It doesn't, doesn't want to bend, bend like that. that. No. And the oh, three-point three shot, shot does not go in. It goes around the rim and rebounded by Cologne. And Joseph. Last break by Joseph Lapras. Play up there, two to two. And the Jones County boys very quick back down the court. Yeah. Aggressive and fast. And just under the goal. Under the basket. Usually, that's like the third time. <laughs> Four to two, Jones County. And that ball is almost stolen by Jones County, but just knocked out of bounds by number 25. Joseph getting double team, pass to Jack Anderson, pass back to Joseph, and the jump shot short, but direct ball into the basket. Jordan Musser catches and puts a layup in. It's a tied four game. That's how we go. And Jones County already all the way down the court again. And a foul on Cologne. I'm not sure who it was. Oh, there's like four guys. Two shots for number 15 here. And that's a good first shot. Makes it a 5-4 game. And shot number two coming up. Seth Heath is not in uniform. Yeah, he's and made his second shot, 6-4. to four. What happened? Seth injured his foot. What happened? Well, I'm not sure, but I heard it's multicolored, so... Not good. Not good. Bunch, Bunch of quick, quick passes, passes and a three-point three shot missed and rebounded by Jonah Musser. Pass, Pass back, back to Jack Anderson. Anderson. Pass, Pass over to Joseph, Joseph who shoots and it's blocked and Jordan Musser again with the layup. 6-6 six, six game. That's how tall he is. That ball was tipped, but it looked like a pass straight to Jordan. Yeah. Under, Under the basket, basket. Beautiful, beautiful lay up there like by Jones County. 8-6. It is 8-6. Another, Another really, really quick paced game here. Joseph Lapperth in the corner. And the ball is stolen from him by number 23. Misses a layup, but he was fouled on it. Oh, he got pushed. And we will see two shots from number 23. Two fouls for Cologne already. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm not surprised. surprised. We, we like fouling people. <laughs> Nine, Nine to six game. game. First, first shot goes in. in. And the second shot, shot coming up. up. Man, it said that Seth hurt his foot. Yeah, yeah it's, it's apparently a mess. mess. Did, he Did he break it? I don't think he broke it, no. Ten to six. Both of those free throws were good. 
might have broke. He probably bruised it. And intercepted pass there by number 25. He throws the ball away. It's going to be tough to get the passes around number 25. He's about 17 feet tall. Yeah. <laughs> Six five. five. He's the tallest guy on the court right now. Do we have any six five guys? No. no. How tall is Tyson? Oh, uh, I don't know. He's six three. I'd say easy. Aggressive defense again. Joseph had a shot blocked. And the ball stolen by Cash Hemming for close. It's the cash Long pass across the court to Jack Anderson under the basket. In the bank. Passes to Joseph Lapper. Then Joseph shoots a beautiful three-pointer that just refuses to go in. Jonah Musser passes to Cash Hemming. Shoots a three-pointer. Let's go in. Ten to nine. That was beautiful. Cash's second three of the night. And a foul by Cash Hemming trying to go after the ball there. He's a two threes already. Well, well he had one in the previous, previous game. game. Yeah, but they're not really two threes. Yeah, they're 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 two threes. 11 to 10, Colom. Joseph immediately goes back on defense. He can just switch so good. Oh, he can, yeah. Oh! And stolen by Colom again, and passed a little ahead of Joseph. The ball stolen. It is out on Colom. Very fast-paced game so far. Both teams being aggressive. Jones County gets the ball over the half court. Passing the ball around. Oh, and the shot blocked by Jack Anderson from behind. Just knocked it straight out of his hand. Cash Hemming brings the ball across half court. Pass to Joseph Lapperth. Long pass to Jack Anderson. He takes a jump shot, and it does not go in. 11-10. 11 to 10. Three minutes and 10 seconds left in this quarter. Three-point three shot goes in. 13 to 11, Jones County. Oh, and an almost lazy pass to Jack Anderson. We got to pick those passes up, guys. Three-pointer by Jones. And it's a 14-13 game. Hey, Dad, you ever have those times where, like, like, like those nights where you just can't remember anything? No, I have a lot of mornings like that. <laughs> yeah, I do, but... You have bad memory. Just yeah, like but I don't sleep very well. That's what happens. Jump shot right there, 15 to 14. That's what's happening right now. Like, I'm really tired, so I just can't remember anything. Yeah, that's all right. Just get some good sleep tonight. Yeah. 15, 14, Jones County. Clone shot, it's the rim, and bounces out, rebounded by Jones County. And the Coyotes come down the court. Pass to number, uh, I missed his number, number 10. Shoots and rebounded by Colom. Cash Hemming with the ball now. And a jump shot by Joseph Lapras makes it 16 to 15, back and forth game. Yeah. This is hard to keep the camera on. Three-point three shot goes in, and it is 18-16. Three-point shot there by Jones County. And the pass gets away, but uh, Colom recovered it. I had it down as Cowgirls again. Another three-point shot misses, but rebounded by, by uh, Jordan Musser. Puts it up for three points, and it's a tie game. Jordan really earning his pay tonight. Layup, miss, and it is, looks like it's going to be a foul. Jack Anderson and number 30 both tumbled to the ground. It's a hard fall, makes Jack, <laughs> it's a hard thing that can knock Jack down. Jack's like in pain. Yeah, he didn't look, didn't look like that was very comfortable there. And first shot by number 30 is in and out. 
you got, you got a couple guys, guys coming in, in. Tyson, Tyson Wetzel and, and number two, two for Jones, Jones County. County. I don't have his name. Subbing, Subbing in. in. They, they got, got the last shot, shot here. And that is good. good. It's a 19-18 game. One, One minute, 17, 17 seconds, seconds left. left. Number, number 22, 22 comes into play. play. You remember him from the junior, junior varsity, varsity game. game. Definitely, Definitely got to keep your eye on. And, and the pass gets play. away, but Tyson, Tyson comes, comes up with it and, and throws, throws the ball, ball away again. again. Number, number 15, 15 with a little bit of a dunk there. A dunk, a dunk and a smile. smile. A dunk and a smile. Yeah, he good should be smile. smiling. That was a good dunk. Jonah, Jonah Musser comes up with the ball. 50, 50 seconds, seconds left in the half. Or the, or the quarter, quarter, rather. You've got, got a smile after that. Yeah, yeah that was a good shot. Good, good shot there. there. And, and Joseph with a shot, shot of his own, but it does not go in. in. Rebounded, Rebounded by Jones down. County. 30, 30 seconds, seconds left. And, and a layup makes it. 23 to 18, five point game in favor of Jones County. Oh, slammed into Jonah Musser there. He doesn't care though, he's just standing there. Yeah, Jonah's a big tough dude. He's just like, what? What? Oh, oh, I'm supposed to be in pain. And Jonah will bring the ball in for Cologne. Past Cash Hemming. Pass, Pass to Joseph Lapper here. here. Come, on, Come on, Joseph. Joseph. 15, 15 seconds, seconds left in this quarter. Pass it. Cash in the corner, and the ball is stolen by Jones County. Three seconds left. And layup to seal it. 25 to 18 this quarter. And we will take a short break. Jones County with a seven point lead. And we, and we will be back, back in just a minute. A minute. Visit GreatPlainsTravelHealth.org well, or call one of our five sitting. service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start, so that sitting the people right may live. Meyer Ag is your Bex Hybrids seed dealer located in Winter, South Dakota. Meyer Ag is a family-owned company specializing in seed consulting and zone-based variable rate that services South Central South Dakota. Contact Trace Meyer at 605-842-5458 to learn more about Bex Hybrids and see how Meyer Ag can make every acre count for you. Meyer Ag in Winter, South Dakota is a proud supporter of all youth athletics and activities. We connect people, have been for a hundred years or so. How we get that done? Well, that won't Three, always be two, the same. One. We're back after the Cowboys break. 25 to 18, lead for Jones County. Almost lost control of the camera there for a second. Oh my goodness. Joseph Lapworth brings the ball in, jump pass to Jonah Musser. Come on, Jonah. Charges to the basket, misses a shot. And yeah, looks like we might have a jump ball here. Jones County with the ball. Jump, jump shot, shot there, missed, and rebounded, rebounded by, by Cash Hemming. Pass to Jack Anderson, Anderson. get a cross, Jack. There we go. Three point shot, shot by Joseph. <laughs> and it's 25 21. Joseph is so good at us. He really is. Oh, the ball stolen by Cologne, by Joseph Lapras, and stolen back by Jones County. And a jump shot missed and rebounded by Joseph. 
Comes back down the court. Almost lost control of the ball again. You got to slow down a little bit. Yeah, Joseph's fast, but when there's already guys down the <laughs> down the other end. Three-point shot by Joseph. Bounces off the rim. And out of bounds on Jones County. Cash aiming to inbound the ball. And shot by Jonah Busser misses. Three point shot blocked by Cash Hamming, knocks it out of bounds. What a great block that was. And timeout called by the Coyotes. And we will be back in a second. Why are we that people? Not in a million years is that ever going to change. We didn't build the communities that made South Dakota. No. We just brought them together. Being a part of a community means sharing the history and future of the people all around you. For 115 years, First Fidelity Bank has been doing just that, helping you get the most out of life by providing the services. And here we are, 25-21 game in favor of Jones County. Jones County is yet to break, and there they are. All three of the Jones County teams fast and aggressive. It's a breed thing. <laughs> it's a particular type of basketball. It's number 10 shoots and gets two easy points. 27-21 in favor of Jones County. And pass it away. Oh, well, no, he didn't pass it away. Knocked, knocked out of bounds by the Coyotes. Shouldn't the scoreboard be 27? Yeah, yeah it, should it should be 27. Be 27. Pass into Jonah Musser. Musser. Almost, Almost runs, runs himself out of bounds. And, and shot misses. misses. Rebounded by Jones, Jones County. County. Three-point Three shot, shot misses, misses and rebounded by Jack Anderson, who loses control and regains control. Joseph Lapworth with the ball, pass to Jack Anderson. Shoots off the rim. Sam Bransgard with the bat with the and a foul on Sam on the shot. Two shots for Sam here. Sam. 27-21. Come on, Sam. You can make these. And the first shot bounces off the back of the rim. It's okay, Sam. You got this. <laughs> Abraham tried to clap while holding the headphones. <laughs> this doesn't work too well. You got this, Sam. Oh, he missed a second. Did, did not hit the rim. 525 left in this half. 27-21 game in favor of Jones County. It's okay, Sam. It happens to the best of us. Bunch of quick passes by Jones County, and a shot misses. Rebounded by Jones County, and the layup makes it a 29-21 game. Still close. Tipped pass there. And a shot by Cologne misses and rebounded by Jones County. Pass down the court and a layup is good. 31 21. Stop flaunting your tallness. <laughs> and a pass stolen by Jones County and another layup is no good. Rebounded by Jones County though. 
And stolen by, by nope, jump, jump ball, ball by Cologne. Or, or, <laughs> jump ball. Jump ball. And possession looks, looks like it will. It'll be right there. I thought it was going to be clone ball, but I didn't want to say anything. Easily wrong. And there's a big yawn by a tired boy. Pass to Joseph Lapworth, who passes it in to Jack Anderson. And a three point shot by Lapworth goes in. It's 31 24. And the ball stole Joseph. Puts a layup up, misses, but rebounded by, by Cash Henning. Who gets the basket. 31 26. A loud, cool crowd today. Not something you see much. No. You're usually a quieter crowd. And the ball is stolen by Jonah Musser who passes to jo Joseph. He gets it. 31 to 28. And a timeout called by the Coyotes. Eight unanswered points by the Cowboys. Seven. Seven unanswered points by the Cowboys. Coyotes. No, we just made seven points without them scoring. Seven unanswered oh. points by the Cowboys. Three. A three, a two, and a two. <laughs> the tools you need, the conveniences and technology you want, and the friendly faces yeah. you expect. So you get everything you need right here in the place you call home. Down. Now and for many years to come. First Fidelity Bank. Being a part of a community. We hope you are all enjoying the student productions of your school. Tonight's event and every event produced by your school during the school year are created, filmed, and produced by the students you love to follow and support. Each one of our games become a booster of your school's live event coverage by becoming a sponsor. It's a great way to show your support of the athletes and students in your community. And here we are. Uh, it's 31 to 28. Favor of Jones County. 333 on the clock here. Oh, an open shot there. Misses and rebounded by Jones County. Stolen by Joseph Lapworth. Who comes down for a layup and makes it a one point game, 31 to 30. Eight unanswered points. Nine. And a foul on the shot. Why do I even talk? 33 to 30. And it should be one shot for number 25 here. Three oh five on the clock. And he makes it. Three point play, 34 to 30. I'm the president. And here comes Joseph Lapras. I'm the president of the Glee Club. Why do I talk? <laughs> and a foul on number 25 for the Coyotes. Cologne will bring the ball in. Cash Emmy. Pass to Joseph Lapras. He shoots a three. And 34 to 33. And number 15 looked like he was about to shoot it. Fouled by Tyson Wetzel. Two shots for number 15 here. Two minutes, 49 seconds left in the half. Very close game, very close game. And that is a beautiful shot there, 35-33. This is a close game. I love it. Yeah, yeah this is how you want them, right here. And his second shot coming up. And it is good as well. 36-33. Two minutes, 49 seconds left. Clum 
Trying to inbound the ball here. Here comes, here comes Joseph. Joseph with another three. He bounces off the back of the rim and off over the top of the backboard. It, did, it was going to come here and then it's going to bounce off. So barely even touched it. Barely even touched it. <laughs> Jones, <laughs> Jones County ball here. Bring, Bring it quickly down the court. The court. Miss, Miss the layup. Re re rebounded by, by Jones County, County though. And oh! Joseph Lapreth passes to Cash Hemming. He does a layup and misses. Rebounded by Jones County. And almost stolen by Jonah Musser. Almost stolen by Joseph Lapreth. And a jump shot is good. 38 to 33. Two minutes left. Five-point deficit for the Cowboys. We're always playing from the deficit. It's okay. Cash Hemming with the ball. Pass to Jonah Musser. Jump shot gets blocked. It's stolen, almost stolen by Cash Hemming there. Jones County, open guy standing there. Shoots and misses and rebounded by Jonah Musser. One, One and a half minutes, minutes left. left. Come, Come on, on, Cash. Cash. And, and Joseph shoots and, and misses, misses the shot. shot. And a foul, foul called on Joseph Lapras. Inbound for the Coyotes. Coming across, across the half line. line. You want Joseph's the kind of guy you want around the ball all the time. Yep. yep. And number 15 with a close shot there. 40 to 33. Seven point deficit. Come on, Joseph. Seven. One minute left in the half here. Come on, Jack. And throws the ball away. Jordan, Jordan Musser couldn't, couldn't quite get his hands on it. Jones, Jones County comes, comes back down the court with the ball again. Missed, Missed shot there, there. Rebounded, rebounded by Jones, Jones County. County. And, and a three-pointer three looks good. good. 43-33 is quickly a 10-point deficit again. again. Pass is stolen by Jones County. They quickly come down the court again. Court again. Jump shot. No good. Rebounded by Cologne. And a foul. Uh, number 15. And the Cowboys will bring the ball in. 13.6 seconds left. Joseph Lapras brings the ball down slowly. And a foul on Cologne. And the Coyotes will bring the ball in directly underneath us with four seconds left. And a jump shot is no good. The layup was good, but it didn't quite count. 43 to 33 as we go into halftime. You get great visibility for your business, organization, or family by supporting the live productions of your school. Sorry. Wow, Bill, you're walking so much better. What did you do? Well, I got so tired of the pain and nearly fell. And one of my friends recommended physical therapy at Winter Physical Therapy. And you know what? My back also stopped hurting. Huh. So how did you get started? My doctor wrote me a referral, but that's not always needed. Turns out you always have a choice where you want to go. So why did you choose Winter Physical Therapy? I love to support our locally owned small businesses. And quite frankly, they give great personalized care. Winter Physical Therapy. Exceptional care. 
The right nutrition, animal health, and record management is key to having a profitable cattle program. That's why you want to work with the people at FarmCo, who will take the time to learn your operation and help you grow your business. We are your full-service agriculture provider of feed, seed, animal health, farm, and ranching equipment built on terrific service. Get to know FarmCo locally owned and serving you in Chamberlain, Platte, Winter, and east of Kimball at the Paragon. Visit us online at FarmCoSD.com. FarmCo, Farm feeding, feeding your, your future. future. Early seed season is here. Litaw Seed carries Hefty brand corn and beans for their genetics, technology, and treatments. Hefty's corn has been very drought tolerant and an excellent yielding. We also have Enlist and Extendiflex soybeans for your choice in herbicide. With Dynagro, we're at the top of the South Dakota field trials for their sunflowers and milo. And with Millbarn, we're the leader in grass, cover crops, and forages. Call 605-840-4591 for Litaw Seed, your source for corn to cover crops, soybeans to sunflowers, and all forages. At 605-840-4591. Early The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends. How to fit in. How to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 57,000 participants here in South Dakota who take part in high school sports or activities. No job is too big or small for the gang at h and Electric in winter. Whether it's a simple task around the house, remodel, new addition, or new construction, we provide residential, commercial, and industrial heating, cooling, or electrical work in winter and the surrounding area. We handle it all. Call 605-842-1117 for service or more information on your next project, big or small. h and Electric is your authorized dealer for train heating systems, too. Good luck in today's event. h and Electric is a proud supporter of all area student-athletes and activities on Live Ticket TV. No job is too. Grossenberg is cut prices on sweeps so you can easily cut through weeds next season. Save 15% on select sweeps when buying 50 or more. Plus, you can save on attaching hardware adapters and springs. So make a clean sweep by saving 15% on select John Deere sweeps at Grossenberg. Stop by one of our nine locations or visit Grossenberg.com. Offer ends 229.24. Some restrictions apply. See dealer for eligible parts list and full offer details. Just as you aim to reach new heights on the field or court, Elevate Agronomics is here to help you do the same on your farm. Putting together a solid plan for each customer is the goal at Elevate, so you can win all season long. With a full lineup of field seeds, including corn, soybeans, alfalfa, sorghum, forage, cover crops, wildlife habitat, and more, along with a full line of chemicals and plant health products, Elevate is ready to put your plans into action. Check us out at elevateagronomics.com or stop by the office in winter today. Elevate Agronomics. Reach new heights. Your local cooperative has a new name. CHS Northern Plains and CHS Midwest Cooperative have joined together to better serve you under the new name CHS River Plains. You gain more options and more value with access to global markets and a powerful supply chain. And you can do more every day using inputs delivered by a team who knows what you need, when you need it. Visit us online at chsriverplains.com or stop in today and let us help you own every day. Your first car. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it and it took care of you, your friends, and maybe that someone special. And through it all, we were there working with you, for you, to make sure it was a smooth ride. Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. Contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent today. Shop local with Burke and Gregory Building Centers, your hometown hardware stores, specializing in everything from finding the right drill bit to building your dream home. The crew at Burke and Gregory Building Centers take pride in customer service and are always available to help with any project, big or small. They offer top-of-the-line flooring and cabinetry, a large inventory of rental items, quality Pittsburgh paint, and so much more. Follow them on Facebook and shop online anytime at bgbuildingcenter.com. At American Family Insurance, we help protect what you've achieved so you can fearlessly go after your dreams. For auto, home, business, and life, contact us today. 
American Family Insurance. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. American Family Insurance, Life Mutual, Standard of Ohio, Wisconsin Company, 6000 American Parkway, Madison, Wisconsin, 53783. Agrimax and West River Ag have been in the winter area for a combined total of nine years. We offer top-of-the-line services and inputs such as chemical, seed, fertilizer application, spraying, and agronomy services with a certified crop advisor on staff. We are a full-service business that is locally owned and operated. We look forward to continuing service to the ag community and cannot wait to help you with all your agricultural needs. Agrimax, shaping the future of ag. This is what matters. This is beyond X's and O's. This is the difference mutual respect makes. This is what character looks like. This is what defines us in South Dakota. This is sportsmanship. School sports, it's not the outcome that matters most, but the way the games are played. This message presented by the South Dakota High School Activities Association and the South Dakota Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. Producers, now's a great time to get your seed meters inspected so you're ready for spring planting. Right now, Grosselberg Implement, your John Deere dealer, with nine locations in South Dakota, Nebraska, and Wyoming, is offering $25 labor per row all month long. Contact one of Grosselberg Implement's service managers and schedule your planter seed meter inspection so it's ready for spring. Grosselberg Implement, where service is the other half of a great product. Go to Grosselberg.com for details. Producers, now's a great time to get you. Whether you're pregnant or planning ahead, you and your baby deserve a healthy start. We offer a wide range of services such as advocacy, health screenings and education, hair coordination and car seat safety, participant empowerment, referral services and fatherhood support. To learn more about Great Plains Healthy Start, visit greatplainstravelhealth.org or call one of our five service areas today. Brought to you by Great Plains Healthy Start so that the people may live. Calling all honey lovers. Dakota Honey in Winter offers some of the purest honey on the market. South Dakota's diverse wildflower population makes for very light-colored sweet honey that comes straight from the hives to their bottles. Shop online at dakotahoneyco.com for pure local honey, flavored spun honey, beeswax candles, and more. Wholesale products are also available at Dakota Honey, and you can find their products on the shelves of various local spots in the area. Dakota Honey in winter, it's the bee's knees. You've spent years dreaming up your business plan, saving every dollar, searching for the right location, and perfecting your product. Auto Owners ensures your small business, because it isn't small to you. Only 36 more to go. That's simple human sense. Ask Miller and Associates in Platt, South Dakota, if auto owners make sense for you. You've spent years... Winter Dental, located at 911 Golden Prairie Drive, is proud to provide Winter and the surrounding area with high-quality, high-tech, patient-centered dentistry. Dr. Brad and the entire staff, including hygienists Michaela Smith and Sierra Hansen, are honored to have the opportunity to serve the good people of Winter and the surrounding area with gentle, compassionate, and high-quality dental services. For information on all the services they can provide you or to make an appointment, please call 605-842-1793 or go to winterdentalclinic.com. Ready when you are, bud. Uh, ready? I'm Three, ready. Two, one. Hold up. Three, Elevated two, agronomics one. is now. And here we are back with some more cowboy basketball. 43 to 33 in favor of the Jones County Coyotes. Now, if you are watching, I know the sound was echoing. If can you please contact us by just um chatting in the comments? Is it still echoing? Yeah, we didn't realize it was echoing until halftime. Yeah. But that's all right. That's all right. Things happen. 
We would like to know. Hey, it's not good enough to hear one. You have to hear two of us. <laughs> yeah. And knocked out of bounds by Joseph Lafferth there on the inbound pass. And we'll try it again. Thank you to your viewers to take your time to watch this, you know. Yeah, it's always good to know somebody's listening out there. And a three-point shot is good for Jones County, 46-33. to Yeah. Hopefully it's not echoing. And passed away. Stolen by Jones County. And, oh, he was setting up for a three. And stolen again by the Cologne. The Cologne. The Cologne, right into the Jones' Cologne. hands. <coughs> Three-point shot is good, 46-33. They're 46-36. Coach yells, he's the only one scoring. That's not quite accurate. Joseph Lapras stole the ball and a layup, and again to 46-38. Woo! Just watch, you're going to pressure him really bad. Oh, yeah, they're going to pressure I would, too. And a jump shot there by Jones County goes in, 48-38. to I will say, one thing I can say about these Jones County teams, the girls and the boys too, there's not one particular star on the team. Like, everybody can score on you. Everybody can steal the ball. Mm -hmm. Shot it's by Jordan Musser. Disproving the coach's theory that only Joseph is scoring, 48-40. to He doesn't care, he's going to prove wrong. <laughs> Stolen by Joseph Lapreth. Fouled and the shot is good. Oh, come on. Oh, I thought he was going to get that. Joseph was in pain. Well, you take that. Oh, okay, the shot didn't count. 48 to 40. Joseph brings the ball in. Pass to Jonah Musser. Swatted out, almost swatted out of his hands. Desdemona. <laughs> I just Jack missed. Anderson shoots and does not go in. A couple bounces on the rim. And Jones County co comes out with the rebound. Over in the corner. Open three-point shot. Does not go in. Rebounded by Joseph Lapper. Come on, Joseph. Eight-point game. Stolen pass. Almost. And passed right to a Jones County player. Layup is good. 50 to 40. Five and a half minutes left in this quarter. They keep this 10-point. Yeah, they got a 10-point cushion all the time, it seems like. Pass to Jack Anderson. Spins and shoots. Foul. Oh! 50-42. Come on, Jack. We need the points. Come on. Woo. Come on, Jack. Make it a three-point shot. Oh, bounces off the back of the rim. Rebounded by Jones County. And fouled on the shot. Two shots for Jones County there. Number 30 will be shooting. This is where a good free throw shooting team can really just torture you. Mm -hmm. And there it goes. 51-42. Man. Yeah, they're really good at it. And bounces off the back of the rim. Rebounded by jo Jordan Musser. Passes to his brother Jonah. Pass out to Joseph Lapreth. Oh, and the three-pointer three missed. And rebounded by Jack Anderson, who passes it to Jones County. Player stuck in no man's land there. Long pass across the court. No Man's Land is a good place for some people. And knocked out of bounds on the pass by Jack Anderson. Jack Anderson had this look of pure <laughs> hatred. He's yeah. just like, no! He smacked that ball hard. He doesn't care. 
4.40 left on the clock, and the jump shot by number 23 goes in. It's 53-42. Joseph bringing the ball down. Cash Hemming bounce pass to Joseph Lapreth. Pass out to Cash Hemming. Throws to Jordan Jonah Musser, but the pass is stolen. And Jones County runs down to their end of the court again. And a layup, 55-42. I like the court again. Jones County really good at passing. Really good ball control. And here we are, 13-point lead for Jones County. Four minutes left in this quarter. We'll run some ads. Bell Baz grow to our seed lineup. Along with brands like LG Seeds, Sakota, and Westbred, we can find the best hybrid to fit your farm. When it comes to your chemicals, we can finance many of your chemical needs for 1.9% while still offering full cash discounts. Elevate is also your precision planting dealer with a meter stand and an expert on staff to help get your row units and planting equipment ready for this upcoming season. Give us a call or check us out at elevateagronomics.com. Elevate Agronomics, reach new heights. Your first car. It might not have been perfect, but that didn't matter. You loved it because you worked hard for it. You took care of it and it took care of you, your friends, and maybe that someone special. And through it all, we were there working with you, for you, to make sure it was a smooth ride. Farmers Union Insurance. More choices, great rates, local agents. Contact your local Farmers Union Insurance agent today. Your grandmother's fine china, those trendy sneakers, your collection of hand-carved duck decoys, auto owners... And here we are. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I clicked off of that. Oh. Anyway. <coughs> here we are, Cowboys inbounding the ball. And we got a message that it is no longer echoing, so we apologize for that. Yeah, now we know what's happening. Like... So, Woo! What happens when you leave an 11 year old in charge of the electronics? <laughs> and Jones County responds quickly from, hey. to the basket from Cologne. Today I did not eat my box of crayons. Which well, is there you go. That's an improvement. Yeah. That's the combat scene. Now, Bear. And spin shot by Jack Anderson. Hits off the rim and re <laughs> rebounded by Jones County. Who tries to pass it down the court and jo Joseph Lapreth disrupts it by knocking it out of bounds. And Jones County will inbound right beneath us here. I have to stand on my tiptoes to see what the screen is showing. <laughs> oh, and the pass to an unexpecting Jones County player bounces off of him and straight into the arms of Jack Anderson. Joseph Lapreth with a jump shot misses. Rebounded by the by the uh, Coyotes. And a layup. I think he could have dunked it. 59 to 44. Three minutes left in the quarter. I just would yell, dunk it! <laughs> yeah. Run already! Shot by Joseph Lapper. Three oh! pointers. Good. 59-47. Oh, and a foul on Joseph. Trying to reach in there. Pushing the player, and they're going to bring it in right underneath us again. I mean, the Cowboys are a decent team. Yeah. It's just... The other team is decenter. Yeah. <laughs> when you use your logic, yes. Yeah, a layup missing. And layup uh, missed. missed two straight layups there. Out of bounds on Jones County. Couple of close missed shots there by Jones County. And Cologne will inbound the ball. Two and a half minutes left and a timeout. And we will run some ads. It's your home. Because, well, somebody should. That's simple human sense. Ask Miller and Associates in Platte, South Dakota, if auto owners make sense for you. Oh, now you do your job. 
Core Cares helps individuals stay at home by offering caregiving, nursing, and medical alert systems in over 55 communities in South Dakota. Specializing in tasks like bathing, meal prep, and medication setups, our well-trained staff delivers exceptional care. We invest in our team through customized training and comprehensive benefits. To learn more about job opportunities or services, visit our website at corecares.com. Core Cares, proudly serving our community. And we are back. 2.26 Jones. to go. Jones County already out on the floor waiting for the Cowboys to join them. Is it the Coyotes or the Coyotes? Coyotes. It is Coyotes. Coyotes. Go Yotes. Yeah, when I first started at USD, I saw that Go Yotes. And I thought, I didn't know they were called Yotes. I thought it was Yotes. I thought, that sounds really stupid. But then I found out it wasn't Yotes. And it's a spinning jump shot by Jack Anderson, 59-49. Didn't you say go Yodies? Yeah. Yeah, foul on Clome there. Or foul by Clome there. On number 10, he'll be getting two free, two free shots here. Yeah, I saw the... All was quiet. All just got quiet real quick. Yeah, I saw the... Uh, their website and said go Yotes on it. And his first shot bounces off the rim. No good. Why is it so quiet in here? <laughs> I did that during lunch. It was all quiet. And all, all of a sudden I screamed, Why is it so quiet in here? And the second shot is good. Makes it 60 49. We've got ourselves an 11 point game again. Oh, a little bit of traveling there. He only walked about six feet. Yeah. I don't know why they're calling that. Barely walked. What, four steps? It's nothing. Nothing. Jones County didn't Why do the they, they even call that traveling? I don't know. Why don't they call it walk in the park? <laughs> he barely moved. Passed around the perimeter here. Number 22 brings it. Well, he started to bring it in a little bit. And... Foul on Cologne right there. By Cologne, I should say. We're going to rename County. the fouls and stuff. <laughs> you do that. See if it catches on. The NBA now starts calling travel. And a three-point shot by number 22 in and out. Rebounded by Jonah Musser. 60-49. to 49. Cash Hemming brings the ball down. Minute and a half left in the quarter. Speaking Jordan Musser with the ball. Speaking of 49ers... Let's if not. you're a 49ers fan, too bad. I'm a Green Bay Packers fan. So. <laughs> 49ers are still in it, though. <laughs> hey, only one by three. <laughs> it wasn't like some games. It wasn't the blowout I expected it to be. It wasn't like when we beat the, the Cowboys. Cowboys. I keep thinking they're the stars. There's the hockey team. They've got the star as their logo. And a basket there by Colon makes it 60-51. Jones County with the ball, teasing three-point shots. And here it comes. Oh, and he got bumped hard by Sam Barron's guard. Sam, he mad. Yeah, he took a tumble there. No need to that was rage a rough foul. because you're in the cage, <laughs> boy. Bear, <laughs> what are you talking about? It's two shots for number 23 Driving. here. First shot is no good. Bounces off the rim. Today we learned how to rhyme. <laughs> oh, Bear. <laughs> and his second shot goes up, and it is perfect shot. 61-51. 10 point lead. And third shot. Why did they get three shots? He was shooting a three pointer. Oh. And it bounces off the back of the rim, rebounded by Jonah Musser. 45 seconds left in this quarter. And it is a 10 point game. Come on, Cash. And loses control of the ball straight into the lap of number 25. Teasing a three-point shot again. No more teasing. We don't like that stuff. And what? I was going to say layup is a spin shot there. 
63-51. Clone brings the ball back down again. Over in the corner, and it is yanked out of the hands of Jordan Musser. And a layup missed, but rebounded by Jones County. Number two shoots and makes it. It's a 65-51 game. And that's the end of the third quarter. And we will take ourselves a short break and drink some water here. Schrader Electric and Control, located in Winter, is available for all your electrical service needs. With close to 40 years of experience, Brian and his crew can take care of all your electrical projects, residential or commercial. Schrader Electric works with new construction, remodels, and new additions. Call Brian at 605-840-8913 to get a quote or schedule your next electrical service. Schrader Electric and Control is a proud sponsor of the schools on the Live Ticket Network. Do you have a pest problem? Got bats, ants, termites? Family owned and operated, Olson's Pest Technicians have had over 50 years experience taking care of pest problems in places across South Dakota, Nebraska, and Iowa. Utilizing brilliant methods such as Centricon bait stations for termites and Vicane treatment for bed bugs, there's no pest too tough for Olson's Pest Technicians. If you have pest problems, call 800 Kill Bugs. And we're back in the fourth quarter. Final quarter for the long evening of ba uh, basketball we've had tonight. Baseball. Almost said baseball. <laughs> Sam inbounds to Jonah Musser. Passes it to Joseph Lapper who misses his three-point shot. Rebounded by Jones County. Oh, come on. And a nice layup there by number 30. Makes it 67-51. Joseph Lapper's bringing the ball down. Pass to Cash Hemming. Teaser. Pass to Jordan Musser. Back to Hemming. Joseph Lapper's with the ball outside the three-point line. To shoot Pass it, to Joseph. Pass to Jonah Musser. Passes to Jack Anderson. He spins and shoots, and it is blocked. Re it's taken by Jones County here. Bounce pass inside, tipped by Joseph Lapreth. He saves the ball and throws it to Jones County. Oh, that was a travel there, goodness. And open three-point shot, sunk by number 10. And it's 70 to 51. Not the way we wanted this to go. We just kind of run out of steam there, it seems. Three-point shot does not go in. Rebounded by Jones County. I tell you what, those rebounds, man. Foul on Cash Hemming, and the Coyotes will bring the ball in. Sub coming in for the Cowboys. Almost lost control of the ball. Three-point shot by 23. Misses and rebounded by Jack Anderson. Jack brings the ball on down. Pass it to Jordan Musser. And good Woo! shot there. 70 to 53. Jones County ends, and he could have dunked that one too. I think yeah. lay up there. Number 15, he... it's 72 to 53. He could have dunked it. He, he could have dunked it. A uh, long two point shot doesn't go in for Jordan Musser. Pass is stolen by Joseph Lapreth. He shoots and is fouled. Two shots. And Joseph should have two shots here. Come on, Joseph. Sink it. 72-53.
And that shot is Woo! good. 54 for Clome now. And his second shot is good as well, 72-55. And Jones County again quickly down the court. And got his own rebound and shot a second shot that goes in, 72-55. 74-55, my mistake. Yeah, Dad. Oh. And Jones County steals the ball from Joseph Lapreth. And stolen right back by Jordan Musser. Knocks the ball into Jonah's hands. Tell you what, son. If you ever question why you do so much running in basketball practice, you remember these Jones County games right here. You see how fast they are? They're fast all through the game. Three-point shot by Joseph does not go in. Rebounded by Jack Anderson. Travel. Travel called on Jack. I knew this. He just said, <laughs> no, no, it wasn't a travel called on. Oh. Yeah, it's still clone ball. Oh, nice. Joseph Lapper to bring the ball in. Pass to Jonah Musser, who can't quite get a handle on it. Jones County quickly down the court again. Fouled by Jordan Musser. On the shot, number 10 should get a couple shots here. Two shots for number 10, first shot coming up. And in and out. Look good, hit a little too hard. Yeah. And second shot is good. 20 point game now, 75-55. Joseph Lapith bringing the ball down. Bounces off of Jones County player and into Jordan Muster's hands. Passes to Jack Anderson and the basket by Jack. It's 75-57. Switch him around. Three point shot is no good for Jones County. And travel called. Jordan Musser fell down. I tell you what, something I like seeing. I, I like seeing a team like Jones County who can who plays hard continually. But also when the Cologne players get knocked down, they're right there help them pick pick them back up again. Mm -hmm. See them out on the court talking to each other. They're a good team. It's good, yeah, it's a good thing to see two teams playing like that. Coyotes inbound the ball. And the ball gets away over half court, throws it in that cash. I mean, I'm not sure what exactly happened there. Me neither. The ball was the Coyotes lost control of the ball, trying to keep it from crossing the half half court line kid threw it and it hit <laughs> hit off cash hamming and I think off of Jones County and then off the Coyotes and off Jones County again <laughs> I'm not sure <laughs> but it is Cologne ball <laughs> pass into Jordan Musser who shoots and misses and loose ball rebounded by Jack Anderson white ball and there you see another Coyote player helping Jack up and we got a, a timeout called by Cologne as Jack grabbed that ball. He should be bringing it in right about there. Four minutes left in this game. 75 to 57. Whether you're pregnant.
And we are back after the short break. Cash Hemming will be inbounding the ball for us. Joseph with a three-point shot. It does not go in, and it is out of bounds. Little snorter over here. Jones County brings the ball quickly down the court. And long two-point shot is good. 77-57, Jones County in the lead. Three minutes, 45 seconds left. Long three-pointer by Jones. Good, makes it 77-60. Jones County coming down the court again. Oh, long fake long shot. Under the basket, it does not go in. Rebounded by Cologne. Jonah Muster comes up with the ball. Now looking, passes it. Oh. And travel called on Jordan Musser. The future Marine, he is enlisted and shipping out in late May next, uh, I was gonna say next year, it's this year. Jones County comes down the court quickly again and a quick layup makes it 79 to 60. Two minutes, 45 seconds left. And the ball knocked out of Cash's hands there, reaching in on number 30. And Cologne will inbound the ball shortly. Here we go. Joseph Lapworth gets the ball. Top of the key. Shot is blocked by number 22. And a foul on the shot there. Gas, Jones gas, County to get gas. two shots here. Number two to do some free throws. Boop. This first shot is bounced off the rim. I thought he was going to be good. Looked good from here. Bounced off the rim. Two minutes and a half left. Two minutes and a half. I guess I could say two and a half minutes. Crowd goes deathly silent while he shoots his second shot. 80 to 60. 20 point lead for the Coyotes. Shot and a foul, but the shot is miss. Two shots for Jack Anderson, free throws. See how good Jack's first shot is, and it is beautiful. 80 to 61. Shot number two. It bounces off the back of the rim, rebounded by Jones County. And a little bit of a loose ball there. And Jordan Musser's glasses fell off before the shot, so the shot does not count. But Jones County keeps possession, and they will inbound the ball here. Pass to number 25. Quick shot there. He makes it 82 to 61. Joseph Lafferth brings the ball down with two minutes left in the game. Jones County. Oh. Gets the ball. <laughs> lost track of what you were going to say. Yes. It's Jones County, right? Yes. Oh, my memory is so bad. Right A bounce pass goes awry for Jones County. Jack Anderson comes up with it. Coming down the court with a minute and a half left. I got my 20, 20 point button ready. <laughs> Rebounded by Jones County. They come down the court. 
again quickly. Jump shot goes well for them, 84 to 61. They sub it in a couple guys. One minute left in this game. And a sub coming in for Clone. And Jack Anderson will inbound the ball to Joseph Laprith. And we are under one minute left in this game. Pass goes straight to Jones County. Three-point shot for Joe's County is good. Makes it 87 to 61. 40 seconds left. Joseph brings the ball down. Pass to Jonah Musser. Shoots and misses. Out of bounds on Jones County. And we are at the half-minute mark. Sam Bransgard to bring the ball in for us. Pass to Joseph Laprith. Shoots a three-pointer and is fouled on it. Good job for Joseph getting a little bit of contact there. 87-61. Three shots for Joseph. And first shot is perfect. He gets three. Yep. Second shot in and out. Man, how did that thing not go in? It's the luck of the Cowboys. And Joseph's final shot. What's that? It's the luck of the Cowboys. Yeah. And second, their third shot is good. 87 to 63. Ball stolen by Joseph. And the layup makes it 87-65. 13 seconds left. Both teams still playing hard with five seconds to go. Jones County ball. Get it in and hold it, the coach said, and time is gonna run out, 87-65. And that is how the game ends, folks. So thank you, especially to listeners from Jones County, listening to the games tonight. Congratulations to the Varsity Boys on their win. Got a good bunch of kids here, looks like. Everybody played hard all three games. Didn't go our way, but that's how it goes sometimes. So you all have a good night, and we will see you next time.